by my own phone. Wonderful. Um, love that for me. I didn't realize I had my audio on on my phone. <laughs> and I used my phone to read chat, so, um, yeah. Hi, how is everybody? Hello. Yeah, I scared myself. It's fine. <laughs> Hello, Josie. Hello, old boo. How are you? You're good. Awesome. Um, it's gonna be a pretty chill stream today. I do not plan to do any Fall Guys. Um, not today anyway. Whew. I just ate and my body is like, oh, hey, you need to burp. But like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Not on stream. Or at least I'm trying not to. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, great. <laughs> I had a plan to do one more galaxy piece. And then I was going to do a redraw. But... I kind of promoted everywhere that I was doing a redraw, so I think I'm going to stick with doing a redraw. Anyways, I do want everybody to take notice of the support board. I got a lot of lovely uh, lovely stuff yesterday from Finch. Car uh, it's Carry On Finch, I believe. Maybe. I, I, I have issues pronouncing names. But Finch not only subbed, but they gave me a DoorDash gift card via my throne. And they also added a throne donation towards a switch, which is pretty freaking exciting. And I cried after I saw it. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's switch on over to the drawing screen. I really ought to warn people about the volume. Uh, I switch screens, but you know, I forget. Anyway, this piece um, is an old one, obviously, <laughs> and I don't really remember exactly when I drew her, but I know that she was one of my first few alcohol marker pieces. I used the skin tone set, and I think I had the primary color set, but other than those, I didn't have any other ones. But I thought it would be fun to kind of do a redraw today. And I also want to do a galaxy piece if I have time. I can only go for four hours today, so yeah, I work tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, let me add this into my little... I need the preview on a different screen. There we go. So I don't need this one up anymore, but I do... Well, uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to open her just for reference for when other people come in here and happen to ask what I am working on. It's this one. <laughs> I'm redrawing this girl. So. I do a little uh, flip rooney for her. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is how she looks flipped, by the way. Oh, I would hope if I'm on the right screen. That's how she looks flipped. <laughs> I love redraws. I do too. It's really interesting to see, like, how far I've come and it's funny because I I feel like oh my God, look at the hair part from one this is it, it's time for art roasting um, I'm roasting my own art and it's a good thing that I've noticed these because uh, how many size is this, is this size 38 what size is this canvas oh she's tiny but look at this part <laughs> You can tell what era this is from. This is from the scene days. When I was obsessed with the scene style and everybody had their bangs like flipped way over their head. Because that part right there. Oh boy. I'm thinking I might give her a more modern style. Um, a more modern style type of bang. Also, look at the brows. <laughs> Look at the pencil thin brows and the way that I used to draw noses where I had the little uh, uh, little line here. I don't really know what what is that ear? That that ear does not look right. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> it looks like a completely different body part. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I think it's a 
cute nose. Uh, for the most part, I still do that little, like, piece every now and again if it's a button style nose, but I don't do it to that extent. Nowadays, oh my goodness, my pen, did my pen just break? Yeah, my, my pen, uh, hang on, give her a minute, there she goes. So nowadays, when I draw noses, I draw them like this, and if I want to represent more of a button style nose, I will still do that, but I make it smaller and not quite as intense. Also, hello Finch, and hello Magic School Bus Dropout. Um, Magic, if you have a different name that you'd like to be called, <laughs> I mean, I could call you Magic, or if you have something else in mind, yes. Uh, I literally just finished work. I'm not home yet. Well, I hope you had a good day at work, and again, thank you so much for all your support last night, because I woke up this morning and I had completely forgotten. Um, or like, I didn't forget, but it felt like a fever dream. <laughs> or not really a fever dream, it just felt like a dream. Anyway, I'm going to be redrawing this girl. <laughs> at least a little bit. Like, to the best of my ability. Uh, it's 11 p.m. UK time. Jeez. That's probably why, uh, you don't get to see the streams too often, huh? I'm gonna change the image resolution, too. I don't want it to be as big as I currently have it. It's a bit much at the moment. That'll be fine. I don't need anything super large for a redraw. I woke up to that message and I cackled. Oh my god. Yeah, I... I was messaging my friends like Peachy and Baco and um, Threadwing and I was just like, what is this? What is going on? I don't deserve this. Wait. <laughs> but I did at least, uh, I think I got the throne thing set up because I know I didn't have it set up yesterday because I've never gotten gifts before and I never really looked too far into it. But I'm pretty sure I got it all set up now. Oh, that's gonna be a giant head. Uh, I'll select all and make the head smaller. I was gonna redraw it, but I actually kinda like that head shape. I need to make it count for that hack. Why am I getting so many emails? Stop it. <laughs> no emails. Okay. That'll be fine. And now I think I can work on drawing the body. I noticed in my original... I, uh, I'm, I'm drawing the way that I feel comfortable first, and frankly, the way that I feel more comfortable is drawing with the head going, you know, that way. But she kind of has, like, an awkward, I don't, an awkward stance? And her arm is really close to her body, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to adjust the angle that I drew her body at. Because as of right now, it's kind of kind of funky. Okay, yeah, no, I need to make this smaller. <laughs> I thought I had her small enough, but then I looked at body proportions and I was like, oh, never mind. Let's go back down to size 30. Um... See, I express my affection for others, uh, platonic or otherwise, through gift giving, and these parasocial relationships relationships definitely help my mental health. So I do gift giving when I can afford it. Definitely only ever do it when you can afford it because I don't want somebody to ever, you know, go broke <laughs> supporting me. I do that myself. I, I was down to, I mean, I'm still down to $11 in my bank account because I, I love gift giving too. That's kind of my personal thing as well. 
I could have fun and do like this little like that would look awkward I need balance so if I'm gonna have her hip one way um kind of imagining something more like this anyway I I what was I saying oh my gosh I don't remember what I was saying I know I was talking about my love language um I was down to a very small amount in my bank account but I like making others happy so if I can get something off their wish list to make their day then I'm gonna do it what is wrong with my pen what there you go jeez I don't know why my pen hates me so much, but. So, the plan is to kind of have, or I don't even need to really put it in her mouth. I could always, Uh, I've never let my bank account get under $100. Oh, see, I used to be like that. It started off at I didn't want my bank account to go under 500 And then it was I don't want my bank account to go under 400 And then it was I don't want my bank account to go under 300 200 100 And now here we are. Uh, oh, the bug pen happens a lot in Clip Studio for some reason. It drives me nuts. I'll just be, you know, casually working on a piece and then all of a sudden... It just bugs out. Um, I'm really tired so I'm asleep now. Bye, bye, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry I stream so late. You can't really stop by too frequently, huh? Super duper late. I don't know how I want to go about doing this. Because now I'm like looking again and I'm like, um. I like the balance, but it'd be. Or I like, uh, I'm just playing around with this till I get something I like. <clears throat> a thing that has helped me is waiting around 10 seconds or so. I use a Huey on tablet, so I don't know if it would work for all tablets. I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily the pen or if it's the program. That's my whole thing is I don't entirely know what it is. All I know is that it's a struggle. And also I didn't take into account that I just moved her hips. It's fine. <laughs> I am a wee bit tired tonight, but I think that's because I went to bed so late last night. I ended up streaming really late. This girl is not quite as thin as I initially made her. But I think that's just kind of my art style. Once upon a time, I drew my characters super duper thin. Now I kind of do more, um, you know, real life style body types. Do you have any tips for drawing humans? I am trying to get better. Um, all it really is is practice, unfortunately. I know, I know it's the most basic response, but it really is. Um, I still struggle with things to this day. I have good days and I have bad days. If I have a very clear visual in mind of what I am drawing, I draw very well and it goes very quickly. In this case, because I don't have a super clear visual in my head, like I know I want to redraw said character, 
but I don't really know how I want to go about drawing said character. It's taking me a little bit longer. I'm struggling a little bit more. Um, uh, I would recommend using references. I'm currently not using a reference. I'm just straight up drawing this pose from mine. I also grew up during a time period where for whatever reason, uh, people like look down upon references. I grew up thinking that references were cheating when they aren't and a lot of professionals actually use references. But you know, down with the, down with the thickness, get down with the sickness instead it's get down with the thickness. I kind of love that. I wonder if there's a shirt with that on it somewhere. Hey. I might, can I? Hang on, um, how do I want to move your arm? No, cancel that. Um, let me just play around the, with the position of the hips again. I do love that angle, but... Woo! Where did her hips go? They are just gone. <laughs> what? There we go. Redrawing is referencing, in my opinion. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, technically it is. But I mean, like, pose references. I'm not using, like, a pose reference. I'm just straight up trying to come up with a new, more realistic-looking pose. Because I've always been stubborn about using refs. Unless I'm, like, fully struggling with something, I try not to use them. Or if I'm trying to draw a more complicated pose, I will use them. But... I mean, that's kind of nice, right? <laughs> Most definitely, because I'm not original. Is that in regards to the shirt comment? I'm pretty sure that's in regards to the ship. <laughs> Shirt comment, not ship. What the heck? Okay, something's off here. How do you look flip? Like, how funky do you look? A little bit funky, but I can work with ya. Give you a rib cage back. There you go. There's your rib cage. The head is a little funky, oddly enough. That's not the thing I was expecting to be kind of funky, but. Oh, jeez Louise, okay. I forgot I made this canvas a lot smaller compared to what I've been working on the last few days. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, yeah, this shirt probably does exist. Like many things that I have thought of in the world. Look at her boobs. <laughs> what did I do? You poor sweet girl. Um, maybe the, ooh, what if I, I mean, I know she'll eventually kind of look like a bit of a bobblehead, but do I do kind of like larger heads on my characters?
I mean, my current PNG tuber does look like a bobblehead a bit too, so there's that. The pose makes it look like she's trying to shrink her into herself, which is an actual position I feel I've taken before. Me too. She looks really shy, which I mean, at the time, I was too. How did I do that background? I'm looking at that background and I think I used a sponge. I think I dabbed a, a sponge in alcohol ink or something. I do like the texture. Haven't done that since I did this. I don't know. On the original drawing, obviously, not this new, more confident pose that you have. Right. I got what you were saying. Oh, shoot. I'm not sketching. Maybe I ought to do something more like... I'm gonna have to play around with hand positions. I mean, that's roughly where the hand's gonna be. I've already determined that, but how am I gonna go about how did I draw it initially? I mean, it works. I think I used that pose, or a similar one last night, just the hands weren't closed. Uh, where's my mirror? I'm using my mirror. I'm gonna reference my own hand. Holding, I have a pencil. I could shove a uh, beauty blender into a pencil to get the lollipop shape. Okay, so I use my own hand as reference a lot, by the way. Oh, I have to adjust for the angle. Okay, I'm seeing something kind of like this. I'm gonna have to make the hand a bit smaller, but you get what I'm going for. And then the lollipops like in here. Something kind of like that, but smaller. I don't want her hand to be too gigantic. That's better. Um, I probably should not be leaving the mirror on my bed, but it is what it is. Now I'm thinking I made the hand too small. Just don't forget about it. Oh, it's fine. Um, no, it's not. I'm too anxious for that. Because I know there's something about mirrors and demons. Like, you can't have mirrors facing the bed. 
correct me if I'm wrong. I am going to move your arm. Bear with me. Trust the process. Okay. <laughs> Trust the process. So I can adjust the arm like that. I feel like this is not going to be like the best example of improvement for me. Um, if you look at them too long, you start to see things that aren't there. What? In the mirror? I don't know. I, like, I genuinely don't know the whole thing behind it, but, ugh. I mean, I just get spooked by my own reflection, so. What if I do this little thing? That looks really funky. <laughs> I was thinking I could do, um, or, yeah, no, that looks funky. I would have to go the opposite direction. I, I don't know about anybody else, but drawing hands on hips, not fun. Not one of my favorite things to do. I feel like it's awkward and just like nothing ever looks right and ugh. Foreshortening. I'm drawing hands in general. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, um, so, uh, <laughs> I, I start talking in gibberish whenever I mess up stuff sometimes. Don't mind me. Anyway, <laughs> I've come up with a date and a time for my 1000 followers special stream. And I posted about it in Discord today. So the date is planned to be on February 5th. So that's exciting. And I plan to do a, I mean, it's going to be a Fall Guys stream. We knew this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do have a Discord. There you go. There's the Discord. And, oh, I just realized I gave it a weird wrinkle. There's no shirt there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, the Full Guy stream is going to be on February 5th, and it's going to be a community one. So if you have Fall Guys, please come. Please come hang out. It's going to be a fun time. I'm making a custom server where it's only going to be us. Like only me and you guys not a public server with a whole bunch of randos just us our like viewers and me um, and friends <laughs> friends of mine it's gonna be a fun time I'm also gonna have a wheel of pain so basically with the wheel of pain if you don't know what that is it's a wheel where streamers put things that are not so fun on them I'm gonna have stuff like I have to wait 10 seconds before I'm allowed to start running and like Fall Guys, I'm gonna have um, some sort of like spicy food that I, I don't handle spice ball. When I say that I have white people taste buds, I have white people taste buds. I am white, so I mean, it makes sense. Um, <laughs> I am the definition of like white people taste buds. I don't handle spice, I don't handle heat. I'm going to literally just get spicy chips and stuff, and that's going to be on the wheel. I'm going to have a redeem where I have to ooh-woo, or I have to talk in a valley girl voice. Um, 
all sorts of little things on there and I'm still coming up with more no glasses will be one so I'll have to stream or play games or whatever without my glasses which yes I have a thing for that already but you know fun time <laughs> Finch yeah, I was going to say, all together. <laughs> um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do as far as reasons to spin the wheel. As of right now, I'm thinking that the main reason is going to be, like, gift subs. I'm figuring, like, two will be a spin and then a thousand bits. I don't want to go too low because I don't want it to be too easy, but I also know my channel well enough to know that um <laughs> I know my channel well enough to know that I'm not gonna get a whole lot of like gift subs and everything I mean I have a thousand followers yes but a lot of you guys came from other platforms and don't necessarily watch twitch which is fine you know it, it happens it's kind of expected so uh, I have joined your Discord. Well, welcome on in. I hope you have a fun time there. We have a little counting page, which is probably the most popular of the pages. Um. Oh, jeez. I just... Help. Why am I struggling so much at this? Hang on. I'm going to add these sketch lines back in, just making them thinner. Because the whole part of inking is, um, uh, sorry, whole point of inking is to, uh, to sharpen up all your sketch. I was tempted to add a number earlier. What do you mean? Tempted to add a number? To what? Do we like? I mean, I love this type. This type of a nose. I'm struggling with speaking today. I'm so sorry. I mean, I usually have issues anyway, but today my speaking is especially bad. I don't know if it's because I've been streaming so much this week, or if it's because I didn't get enough sleep last night, or what. But oof, I'm definitely not as awake today as I was yesterday. What am I sketching at? 14? I loved the face I did on the one character the other day and now I... I'm kind of sad because I'm going to struggle with it. I'm not going to get that same face again. Oh! <gasps> Threadwing! Hello! I hope your trip is going well. I hope you're having a fun time in Vegas. Have you met your favorite YouTuber yet? <laughs> uh, I just got back to the ho hotel room after a morning out and I'm already absolutely exhausted. Oh no. I'm glad you're having fun at least. I don't know what's going on with this character. It's supposed to be an improvement, but she's not really feeling much like an improvement at the moment. I think I might change the nose. I don't think she's quite turned far enough where the nose would be that. I'm having an off drawing day. 100%. Um, Alameo, no, but I just found out she went to the same art installation we were just at only a day earlier. Oh my gosh, it figures. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know if he's still stationed there, but my stepbrother lived near Vegas as an Air Force test pilot. Ooh. That sounds like kind of a fun job, but also quite terrifying. I find planes and stuff terrifying. I would rather go by car for 12 hours than get on a plane. I had it twisted upwards. I'm trying to get better about eyes and angles because I know eyes are the same, like they're the same this way, you know, they're the same size, but then this way, this one's more squished and this one's elongated. And I've always, like, I know this, I know this information, right? But then I struggle to actually put it on paper for whatever reason. Or in this case, I struggle to put it on my drawing program. I almost feel like I should have probably drawn this character um, traditionally because she was initially traditional. And I still plan to color her traditionally, but because it's fun streaming, I'm sketching her digitally. Okay. <laughs> Look at them brows and her um, woman body part ear. <laughs> I don't know why I drew the ear like that. What was going through my head? <laughs> We're changing that. I, I can still keep her brows kind of on the thinner side compared to what I've been doing. But I'm, I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna do the pencil thin brows. I'm sorry. Oh, did I already start drawing? Was that just unintentional that I added that lower... cute. It's growing on me. Uh. Okay, let me fix her ear. <laughs> You're getting a better looking ear now, babes. An updated one, an updated art style ear. Not what I used to do. I guess to be fair, when I drew the first one, it was when I didn't really draw ears that much to begin with. So, if I disappear, it's just because I passed out. Well, you know, if you need to take a nap, Go take a nap. I, I know how exhausting trips are. There's supposed to be a vacation, but oh my god. One of my dreams is to be able to go back to the ocean. I haven't been in well over a decade. Um, I really just, I love getting up at the early... Er, <laughs> I'm struggling so much with my words today. Uh, I love getting up at like the butt crack of dawn to go and walk along the ocean and collect seashells. That is one of my favorite things to do. Also, I'm just gonna maybe not maybe not to that extreme, but I'm I'm trying to adjust her nose. I might add the Did I do that? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Cuz I mean, I could do that. She's technically, I think, turned just enough, but I would have to adjust the angles of the of my nostrils here.
2021, I decided I didn't want to fly so much. I drove the 1,446 1, miles to my dad's in Minnesota for Thanksgiving. Okay, how many hours is that, though? I don't really... I go by hours, not so much by miles, because I don't drive personally. I'm too anxious. But, yeah. Why... 22-ish hours. That's a long drive. Um, I've not been to the ocean once since moving to Maine. And I can literally see it when I'm driving to work. See. I... Oh! I will save. Yes. I feel like that's so delayed. Um... Emerald guy, hello. How are you? I don't know. I might. Okay, wait. No, her initial nose was technically a button nose in the original, so I'm thinking I might have to stick with the original like button nose shape. A little bit more of a rounded tip there. Because I want to kind of stay true to the original. Oh my gosh. I feel, like, I feel like I'm just struggling so much. I'm definitely having an off day. Pretty similar to how my nose looks from an angle in real life. Should I pull out my mirror again? I mean, I have a slight bump to mine, so I have, um, let's say that's the tip of my nose. I have a very subtle bump, kind of like that, to my nose. It's very, very subtle though, like hardly noticeable, and especially not noticeable when I have my glasses on, which is all the time. Her one nostril needs to come out just a smidgen more. Like so. I was hoping to have Chinese tonight, but I ended up not getting Chinese. I know I mentioned it last night and it's just on my mind now. There, that's cute. Yeah, that's a cute nose. That's kind of the button nose I was going for, cause she, I was trying to go for a button nose in the original, but back then I didn't really know how to draw noses. <laughs> Also, I was really emphasizing that bridge without shading. I mean, there's shading there underneath, but oof. Now looking at the original compared to this, I'm like, okay. Yeah, there's some improvement there. <laughs> I'm being so hard on this one, but then I look back at it and I'm like, okay, yeah, there's definitely improvement. Um, I'm doing good. Just got done winning an esports tournament and won. Oh, congratulations. I don't know much about... I, actually, I don't really know anything about esports aside from sports. But congratulations. We're just having a chill time here. Doing some art. Also, I don't know if you saw in my Discord, I announced that we are doing a community Fall Guys game for uh, my thousand followers special. That'll be on February 5th at 6 p.m. EST. So make sure you have Fall Guys because we're all going to play together. It's going to be fun. I really <laughs> need people there or else it's not going to be as fun. Um, my biggest fear right now is that event completely flopping. I am petrified of that. <laughs> I really don't want it to happen. 
because I've done it. I've done things in the past, like Gartic Phone, and people were excited about that. But then, like, not a whole lot of people showed up. So, I kind of have this beret type of a thing going on on her. It's hardly on her head. Okay, I need to adjust my leg. I don't know how I want to go about drawing that. I have bangs, but I want to give her more of a modern style one. So I'm thinking I might still do a bit of a swoop. Maybe something more along. Maybe I could have them like go out. Maybe have them all go this way. But instead of it being part parted on literally all the way over here on her head, I want it to come from more like the center. Oh, oh my goodness. The red wing. So much to say. Okay, hang on. Um <laughs> I wanted to explain the exhibit I went to. It was super fun. Alright, hang on. So, the art installation was a new Meow Wolf pro project, and I don't know if you know them, but I learned about them. It's called Omega Mart. If you want to look it up later, the gist of it is that you walk into what looks like a normal supermarket. <gasps> oh, yeah, I've seen this. But if you start paying attention to your surroundings, you'll notice everything's really strange. Then you can start finding secret passages through things like the janitor's closet, one of the fridges, the drink section through a clothing display, display, <laughs> display, stuff like that. And you slowly walk through, or walk your way through a secret factory and uncover the secrets and behind everything. It's super fun. I've seen stuff like that and I would love to go, some, go to something like that someday. I feel like Threadwing, you would love Otherworld in Columbus, Ohio. Because it's kind of similar in a sense, except for it's, it's a huge art exhibit. Um... I, I sent you photos and videos and stuff, I think, when I was there. But, oh, it's so cool. I think I saw it on TikTok a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I saw that thing, too, was on TikTok. Hydrate. I shall hydrate. Am I not getting notifications again? Why do I not get the notifications for hydrate? My goodness gracious. I will hydrate. Thank you, Mary Sil. I hope everything's going well. I hope you're good. I hydrated. I'm considering adding a hydrate thing to my wheel of pain too. For the stream. Um I haven't fully decided yet. I think I'm gonna have Meow. <laughs> meow. 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 We do love Marky Moo here. We stand Markiplier. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Um, I'm not seeing them in chat for some reason. I'm not either. I'm not sure why. Thank you. I hope your day is going well. It, I think it is. What did I do today? I finished my Fall Guys piece, which I've talked about Fall Guys enough already this stream, about how I'm doing a thousand follower special stream. Um, so I don't really want to annoy people too much with that. Also, I feel like her hat would technically start over here if it's on her head fully. But yeah, I finished in my little Fall Guys announcement thing with the stream, and I'm really, really hoping it goes well. Because I'm excited for it, and the last thing I want is for it to not go well, for me not to have a lot of people show up and just, like, be sad. Uh, that's, that's my fear. I didn't... I... Uh... I, 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 I don't know. Um, yeah, you're not seeing them in chat either. That happened with me once too. I don't know, uh, Twitch being weird at the moment. Oh, I don't have Fall Guys. Fall Guys is a lot of fun. Uh, 
it's it's a lot of fun it can be stressful at first um, because it's it's a lot and you might feel like you suck at it but the whole point of the game is to actually like fall and struggle so <laughs> thank you for promoting my throne bench if anyone wants to go to it make sure you set aside at least three hours to explore everything and took us nearly four hours to complete oh my gosh That's a long time, but it does really sound cool. Okay, I am not liking how this is looking. I'm about to look up, um, hang on, I'm gonna look something up, because uh, it looks like I'm giving her a chef's hat, and that's not, that's not what I want. <laughs> She's not a chef. Nothing wrong with chefs, it's just she's not one. Since a few more, few more people are here, right? <laughs> um. Oh my goodness, copper. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this on. Because I was obviously going for a beret type of a thing. But I feel like nobody's wearing it the exact way I imagined. Because most people seem to wear them a little bit further down on their head. Oh my god, how long have you been streaming that I missed? I have been streaming for almost an hour now. But no worries. Don't worry about being late. I know that uh, people had dinner or other stuff going on, so don't don't worry about it. I'm trying to find some sort of reference for the way that I had my character wearing the beret before. It was like on the back of her head. Oh wait, there's a character who kind of has it. Okay, um... So basically, this girl has it where, okay, yeah, that, that looks like it's already immediately going to be better. I'm going to use a thicker brush and I'm just going to turn up my, my stabilization. I'm going to use that kind of as a guide for where the band is. That's easier than trying to, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I got a band thingy tonight at 9. Oh, what time is it for you now? Anyone see that clip of Gordon Ramsay completing a Master, Sh Master Chef challenge in half the time the contestants had? No, I don't think I've ever seen any of the Master Chef stuff. I've only ever seen Hell's Kitchen. Uh, I was not aware an hour has gone by. Yeah. I, I also take forever to draw. I'm, I'm struggling. I your girl struggling today. Um So it kind of has gone by pretty quick. There we go. And that's kind of what I was going for. Maybe something more like this. Oh, I had stabilization on still nice. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. What was her hair like? I gave her wavy hair. That was my definition of wavy, by the way. <laughs> it's not very wavy. Oh wait, did I have a, okay, I have some shorter strands. I have a little barrette about here. So let's give her her little barrette. Um, what is happening over there? It sounds like you're in a kitchen with lots of hands banging around. That would be the dog. <laughs> he knows how to pick up his bowl and carry it around. And, um, 
he doesn't always have a good grip on it, so it like falls and bangs on the ground and just it's loud. I wanted to make sure I still represented the bangs. It's like the bangs have grown with me because these are pretty much the bangs I have now. Dogs are goofy. He really is. He ended up um, making himself yelp earlier because he ran into a wall. <laughs> um, he turned around and just smacked his head into a wall and just ended up yelping. <laughs> what? I, I've been using that noise of the Baco and it even threw me off guard. I was like, I don't feel my phone vibrating. What's going on here? I could see it. Like, I used my phone to read uh, my, my chat, but... I don't really know. Like, I, the face is an obvious improvement. But the body, I still have issues with. I mean, it, the body probably is an improvement. I'm just hard on myself, but. That wouldn't get me because my phone doesn't vibrate like that. Mine kind of does. But also doesn't. It's like, it's very similar. I cannot get comfortable for the life of me today. Look at her. She's like... She looks so shy. <laughs> and now this one is just like, oh yeah, confidence. And also she looks older, which makes sense. I didn't show no I did show you all what I did yesterday already because you all were here when I was streaming well most of us were <clears throat> threadwing a uh, new twitch thingy no I've had it blurp is a thing that I've actually had for a while um, if you look in the about section on my page or if you're on mobile and you look at the uh, gift a sub to be number one thing to the right of that, you'll see a little, like, uh, square, and it's red, and it has a little slime-looking thing. That is Blurp, and you can use bits to play coins. Uh, internet is ass here. I'll have to catch you later. Have a good stream. Uh, understandable. Bye, Threadwing. I hope you have fun. Go take a nap. You need a nap. I do work tomorrow. By the way, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm taking the day off. I mean, I've already streamed a lot more t this week than I usually would. I don't normally stream this much. I usually only stream on Sundays. But 
I had to get a project done, and I'm still technically not done with it, and I'm supposed to be using this stream to work on it. But no, instead I was like, um, I'm gonna redraw one of my old characters because I can. And <laughs> I, I mean, I have tomorrow still to work on the other piece, but I'm gonna do it on my own time. Sundays are my day off, okay. Um, I, I usually work on Sundays. I have a short shift. I think I only work until 11.30, then I'll come home, have lunch, take a nap, and then be ready to stream come seven. The plan currently is to do Pico Park, although I'm kind of anxious because Threadwing's in Vegas right now. I don't know if she's going to be back in time. Because she's supposed to be on there playing with me. Like one of the four or five people. You have Pico Park? Maybe you can join us, Finch. I'll have to message you after stream. Or like, I, I will see what um, Threadwing is up to. Okay, yeah, she's cute. So, for those who might just be joining stream or you didn't catch the beginning, this is how the character technically was drawn, was this direction. And this is what I have currently. It's so much fun. I've not played in a bit. It is a very fun game. I quite enjoy it. I played it for my birthday, but I ended up having to end pretty early. Because I had a sudden migraine come on, and um, if you've ever dealt with migraines, they are they are not fun. But I had a sudden migraine come on, and I had to end stream two hours early. I tried to do a makeup stream, like a makeup birthday stream, and it didn't go very well. <laughs> um, I don't remember what all happened during it. All I remember is I got off stream those like that day, and I felt really sad about it. Um, but Pico Park initially, like my birthday stream, I didn't want to end. I really didn't want to end stream because I was having such a fun time. I also just realized I have a little, wow, look at the way I used to draw bows. Um, I didn't want to end stream that day because I was having such a fun time. But if I stayed on any longer, I would have a hundred percent gotten sick. So I got off and I laid in the back room and I just allowed myself to rest for a little while. Hello, Allie. Welcome into the stream. I know you've been here the last few ones, but <laughs> I like seeing familiar faces. I like when people come back. It makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm not as boring as I think I am. Because sometimes I feel like I'm boring and not, you know, that entertaining to watch. Which, I mean, fair. I am more quiet of a streamer. Um, like, because I'm not loud and I'm not, like, doing crazy stuff. I mean, sometimes I'm loud, but most of the time it's a pretty chill stream experience. Um... But I sometimes worry that, you know, art's boring and not too fun to watch. So I get scared that people aren't interested. But then I do something like Fall Guys, and it seems like people aren't too... Like, I mean, I was doing pretty okay with numbers, but... I need to stop looking at numbers is what I need to stop doing. <laughs> it's easier said than done. I know, um... There's a whole trend going around on TikTok about artists creating only for numbers and for likes and stuff and I've spoken out on that about or I've spoken out on stream about that how I don't really agree with that mindset but I also understand how validating it feels to have you know tons of likes on posts but I'm trying to break myself out of that mindset of focusing on likes or focusing on views and stuff it's just very difficult um, I am drawing and I have you on in the background because 
I like more quiet streamers. Yeah, I know a lot of people do watch me or like listen to me as they work on their artwork. Which I'm chill with. I mean, that's kind of why I have Animal Crossing music. I am going to warn you now, Pico Park is going to be more... <laughs> that's going to be chaotic. Pico Park is a more chaotic game because if you've never seen it before... Pico Park is where you work with a team of friends and you have to complete like puzzles and get through the challenge. Like think of it like um, Mario where you have to get through the platform layer or platform levels. But you, imagine doing that tied together with your friends and, and having to reach the end without falling down into um, a void or <laughs> struggling to jump. Or what have you. Just minus the enemies. That's essentially Pico Park. I've played it once before. One of my favorite clips from uh, that stream is saved on my page. Because it was, it was funny. And I've been dying to play it ever since. Um, I stopped using social media because of that. At the end of the day, likes on your posts don't really matter, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get myself to remember. Because at the end of the day, I'm creating for me. Like, nobody asked me to redraw this piece. Nobody. I am choosing to redraw this piece. This is my own choice. And I'm having fun. Like... Yeah, it's taking me longer than it usually would to sketch something out, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process. I was just struggling at first because I didn't fully know what I wanted to do, but now that I have a basic pose down, it's getting a, a smidgen easier. Like, I have a better vision of what I'm doing here. Oh. Sorry for the yawn. Um, I want to try that, but I only have one friend. Oh, see, I really wish that there was a version of Pico Park where you could just play solo because I've been waiting for my friends to get back together to actually be able to play it. That was my whole struggle. Everybody was always busy, and that's the thing that kind of sucks about being an adult is people were busy with work or what what have you I mean not everybody's always available you can always do duos in Pico Park that is true but it's more fun with more people if I'm being honest which I am oh I just started social media, but to be honest, I never followed the, uh, inst insta drama. There's a lot of drama on social media. People have tried to drag me into stuff before by, um, taking my comments out of context. Or, um... Yeah, it's mostly been just people taking what I say out of context. <laughs> but also, there was a time where somebody quite literally referenced one of my images. Like, you could tell. Uh, hang on, I'll pull up what I'm talking about, too. I, I can't pull up the, the drawing, but this piece. I feel like it's a very obvious pose. Like, this is uniquely mine. There was somebody who did this exact same pose... With both characters in this exact same setup and they did a water character or like a winter character and a fire character and when I called them out on it just like asking simply to be credited that's all I wanted people were like well you don't own a pose you don't own a concept and I'm like I know I don't but they clearly referenced me they clearly you know what I mean like I just want credit for them referencing me I could easily it's so easy to tell it was the exact same setup and everything um, and I I had people get mad at me in my comment section for asking for credit uh thank you midnight moonlight for the follow 
you kind of fit in well here, considering I have a little like galaxy space hair thing going on. The other thing that um, people did not take lightly, if you guys remember, if you've been following me for a while, you'll remember my Encanto series on TikTok. And last year I had a Dolores piece go really viral. Like, I mean, it's my most viral video. I think 15 million views or something. Absolutely wild. Well, this one guy decided to screen record my drawing and he posted a reaction to it. And you couldn't really see my TikTok username or anything because he was in a position where it was covered. So I commented on the video and I just simply asked for credit. Like, can you please, you know, credit me for the video? And people started replying to that comment saying, um, clearly, like, I mean, it's obvious it's your video. You're at the top of the sound. Da, 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 da. The dude had 2 million likes on his video. Or not 2 million likes. He had 2 million views. Sorry. There's a huge difference there. But a lot of people in the comments were asking, who's the artist? Who's the artist? Who's the artist? And I'm sitting here like, it's me. Okay, yeah, no. Her eye was actually better as it was before. Um. But if you have that many people asking who the artist is, you didn't do a good job at, you know, crediting the original. The Encanto drawing made me follow you. Oh, really? Man, I went through some shit with that series. <laughs> wow! Like, my Peppa drawing, I was getting so many critiques on. I almost did throw her away. I was so frustrated with that piece. Um, I'm still not proud of that Peppa piece to this day because I, I liked her teeth as they were before, but people were so critical about it. It's part of why that I don't really like doing fan art that much is because people are critical. If you don't draw their favorite character exactly how they want, they are going to let you know. Ah, uh, good evening. Good evening, all. Her character looks more grown up now, doesn't it? It really does. Like, she does look more grown up. She looks so shy here, like a little teenager, which I mean, I was a teenager when I drew her. And now here, she's like an adult. Very cute. <laughs> I apparently was popular in school, and I didn't know until someone told me, and I was like, ah, uh, take me away from what state? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was never popular in school. I have people who like talk to me now as if um, we were good friends back then. Or, like, they say that they're my biggest fan as far as my art goes. And I'm like, where were you in high school? <laughs> you didn't talk to me in high school. You didn't hang out with me. You never really interacted with me. What are, what are you talking about? You were one of my biggest fans. Get the fuck out of here fucking fake ass bitch excuse my language but i get so tired like, okay i'm i have popularity online now it makes it makes people treat you differently and i don't like it back then i remember asking for another um i was curious about another girl because people were freaking out when this one girl came to the school and they're like oh my god she's got so many followers on instagram and Musically at the time was what it was called and people were freaking out and I was just curious about who she was I wasn't gonna ask her to follow me or anything and I asked the girl at the end of class one day like hey What is your Instagram and another girl nearby snaps at me and she's like uh, She's not gonna follow you. So don't even bother asking. I was just like I just wanted to know who this girl was I didn't know who she was That's, that's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to know the social media account. I didn't, I didn't want to ask for follows or anything. I hate that mindset so much. Also, I think I'm going to change. 
I just, I mean, I wasn't popular in school, and I'm fully aware that I wasn't. But it doesn't mean I get need to be treated like garbage. I remember some dudes asking me to homecoming as a complete joke because, haha, let's ask the fat, ugly girl. Okay. <laughs> It'll be funny. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, I was going off on a rant there, dang. Um, I hate those people, lol, me too. I am so confused what you're going on. Uh, you're so pretty though. Oh, thank you, but I'm definitely, like, I will admit, I... By society standards, in terms of, like, how I look as a plus-size woman, I definitely am more accepted because I have a thinner face and I have more of that hourglass figure that people deem more acceptable in society as far as plus-size bodies go. However, I am still a plus-size woman, and because of that, I have faced a lot of negativity throughout my life or, like, little backhanded comments or negative things. I've, I've had negative experiences as, like, being a plus-size woman. I've also been told I shouldn't have a thin PNG tuber or thin VTuber model because I'm plus size, which I just say, fuck you. I'm going to be who I want to be. I, it's my character. I can do what I want. I've never lied about my body type. I have always been very open about being a plus size woman. It's not a secret. So... <laughs> I need to not <laughs> rant so much, but, uh, but, you know, because of my size, I was mistreated in school by some. I was also weird. Back when I was in high school, anime wasn't very popular. It was kind of looked as, oh, the weird kids are into that, like, Japanese animation stuff. Nowadays, anime is so much more popular, which, thank God, because a lot of the stuff was definitely underrated. Anime has some, like, top-tier animation and storylines. Um, in particular, I'm really, I'm really excited about Attack on Titan. I just got into that within recent years, and it's one of my favorite things. It's so good. I'm making her dance. <laughs> anyway. Um, let me see. You, you guys are commenting a lot here. I'm sorry. I was doing a little dancey dance. I had some people in high school at least notice me since I was invisible to everyone. But then would ghost me and never talk to me again. I wouldn't say I was fully invisible. I definitely had um, friends. I had a small friend group that did like me. But sometimes I did just go off and eat lunch alone or like I would be in the back of the class and just quiet and kept to myself. I am very vocal now compared to what I used to be. There's some days at work where if I'm not talking, my coworkers are like, Carol, what's up? You're usually like being a big old goofball and talking a lot. And if I'm not talking, something's wrong. But in school, that was the norm for me. I didn't talk unless spoken to. And that's still true to a sense. Like, if I were to start a new job now, I would be quiet. I wouldn't really want to talk to people. I mean, I might be a little bit more open than I used to be. But I would still be anxious about it. And usually the way that I spark conversations is by complimenting people. I'm like, oh, are you? Like, I really like your shirt. Where's, where's it from? Or, um, I really love your hairstyle. Oh, I see you have anime-themed pins. What type of stuff are you into? I'm likely to ask stuff if I see something that I relate to. But in school, I wouldn't talk to people. Unless I was spoken to. Because I would get that weird, like, side-eye look. Like, why the fuck is this weirdo talking to me? And looking back on it, there's one girl now that was always trying to reach out to me. And I didn't really notice until 11th or 12th grade. Um, I still, I, I know her name. I'm not going to say it because 
And she, she might know who she is if I mention it. It's nothing bad. But she was talking to me and looking back on it, she was genuine. She was trying to be nice to me because she knew probably what I was going through. And I wish I had realized back then that she was genuinely being nice and not being nice just to potentially go and make fun of me later. Um, because if I had noticed, I probably would have ended up being friends with her or closer to her. <laughs> but I didn't notice until years later. I was like, oh yeah, that was genuine. That wasn't, that wasn't her being fake. Um, I remember someone once asked me if I was going to homecoming. And in retrospect, I realized that they were implying that I should ask them. What? Really? <laughs> uh, I'm built like a door, a slendy man, a twig. <laughs> the only thing I got going for me is humor. I mean, I like my humor, but it starts to hurt when the only compliment you get is, oh, you're so funny. That's... I didn't even have that. I, I mean, I'm a plus size girl who didn't really have humor. The only thing I've got going for me is my art. Um, my buddy Baco, I've talked about Baco. He, he's a bigger dude and I feel bad because I've always ever, I feel like the only thing I've only ever complimented was how funny he is, but he's so much more. And I'm, I've been really trying to make an effort to let him know he's so much more than just funny. He's a genuinely really sweet dude who's caring and kind and always like, he would probably throw a fit if you heard me talking about him like this but he's like a genuine sweet dude who deserves so much more than he gets um and one of my best friends but a lot of people because he's a bigger guy they're like oh yeah you're just like so funny i mean your humor alone should do that he's so much more than just as funny he is so much more than a comedian. I mean, yeah, there he does tell some really funny jokes, but there's so much more to him if you get to know him a little bit more past that. Genuinely one of the few people that I feel like I can go to and spill my heart out to because he and I are pretty close. Um, <laughs> I feel like I saw the, your very beautiful comment earlier, but I missed it. Uh, I'm built. Oh yeah, yeah. I read the the funny thing, and then I started talking more about like Baco and his similar experience. Social cues are hard. They are. With how little I get complimented, my heart goes through the roof over the smallest little compliment. Like cute shoes makes me nearly cry of gratitude. And then you have my end, where when I get complimented or when I get something, I don't really know how to react. Because I don't always know if it's genuine. <laughs> I sometimes, um, okay, this is the way she's supposed to be. So she, she's looking cute. She looks cute. I feel like the redraw went pretty well. Is there any other detail I kind of missed? I don't think I missed any detail. Anyway, uh, whenever I get complimented, I'm just like, um, no, I, I automatically find a way to turn it down and say like, Thanks, but, and I'm sure you guys have actually noticed this. I don't straight up say thank you. I always say thank you, but, and I say something that's completely against what you've said. If, if you notice me doing that, that's just because of my history. That's because of what I've been through. I don't know how to accept compliments. Um, on my art, like, people will compliment it and I say thank you, but in my mind I'm sitting here like this and this and this and this can be improved. Thank you, butt. Yes, booty. <laughs> Thank you, booty clapping. <laughs> why, why did I say that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Imposter syndrome. Yeah, probably. <laughs> some, some trauma there? <laughs> probably. I don't know. I just... I have a lot of trouble accepting compliments. Even Baco to this day has to sit here and be like, Kara, you're like a great person. Like you're beautiful, kind, caring, etc. Et and I'm sitting here like, yeah, but... And then he's like, no, you are. Like, accept it. My friends in general um, do that to me. They're like, 
Kara, you're great. You're a good person. You're too hard on yourself. Da, da, da. <laughs> Are we all trauma bonding today? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I could go into depth, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, let's do some line art on her, shall we? <laughs> I think it's about time I add some line art. Oh! Square lollipop? No, she's not getting a square lollipop. I'm also on the wrong layer. Where's my eclipse? Okay. That's what I'm going for. Uh, there's one girl in my school who will make such an effort to notice something in my outfit every day, and it makes me feel so good deep down. We joke about it a lot, but I really love that she realizes how hard I work on my appearance every day. That's so sweet. Genuinely, that is so sweet. Good on her. That's... That would be me if I were in school. I do have this memory. I mean, this one's not a good memory. I... <laughs> I wore, uh, I don't know how many of you know what Invader Zim is, but I wore this Invader Zim Gur hoodie when I was in high school quite a bit, and I, on this specific memory that I'm thinking about, I was walking down the hall, I think I was either on my way to class, no, I had gone somewhere, and then I was on my way back to class. I don't remember fully what was up. I might have stayed over in a class to work on something and then got a note to go to my next class without issue. Anyway, that's beside the point. On my way to whatever class I was going to, I remember walking by these two girls. And I was wearing my girl hoodie. I had a black tank top underneath. Um, and then I had a black tutu on. Full on tutu. And then I wore leggings and I had... Um, what we called candy back then and candy was I'm going to spell it on stream so you all know what I'm talking about candy was spelled like this right that was what we called those bead like the pony bead bracelets and they were the thick cuffs I had those going all the way up to my elbows so I had my gur sleeves on my hoodie rolled up and then I had just sleeves of beads all the way up to my elbows. And as I was walking by these two girls, they were like, oh, I really like your outfit. And at first I thought it was genuine. I was like, oh, thank you. But as I walked by them, um, as soon as I walked by and they got about three feet behind me, I heard them start cackling and like laughing really hard to each other. And I heard them like whispering under their breath. And I was like, oh, they're making fun of me. That wasn't a genuine compliment. And I felt so cute in that outfit too. I wore that type of outfit all the time. I wore it with a gur hoodie. I also wore it with like this blue diamond hoodie that I got from Hot Topic. Um, <laughs> what does Gurs do? I don't know. I, I freaking love gur. <laughs> uh, the first time someone told me that they thought I was handsome just out of the blue and or wait, sorry. The first time someone told me that I that they thought I was handsome just out of the blue was a good day for me in high school. Oh. She'd always be like, "Oh my God, Daisy, wear, Daisy's wearing jeans," or "Oh my God, since when does Daisy wear chokers?" and stuff like that. It's just the little things, I suppose. That's cute. What does the G stand for? I don't know. <laughs> I remember. Oh, silly bands. I remember silly bands too. Yep, I, I was around during those times. Gosh, I think I still have silly bands somewhere, if I'm honest. Oh, that, that finger's a little funky. I can do better. <laughs> still funky? <laughs> I was like, oh, I can do better. Help.
Yeah, that works. That works. I like that one. Hi, Kitney Beans. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. I know yesterday was your first time in the stream, and I'm happy that I left the impression for you to come back. That makes me happy. Whenever I get people who return in my streams, it makes me really happy. Um, I remember those silly bands too, yeah. Silly bands were so nostalgic. A lot of kids in my elementary school had them. They were the f fidget spinners of the 2000s for kids, honestly. What else existed back then? I mean, I, I was a MySpace kid too. So... I remember the day that I got my first iPod shuffle. I wonder if anybody has them anymore. Because I had a gold iPod. Sh it was like a gold iPod shuffle. And I felt so cool because they weren't very common. That one I think I won from a giveaway. So it was extra special. Oh my god, the iPod Shuffle, yeah. I also remember when I got my first um, Nano. I got an iPod Nano, but my mom got it off of eBay and uh, it didn't work. <laughs> I got it for Christmas one year. And funny enough, I mean, you can probably put two and two together, but that was the year that I found out Santa Claus was, was a, a totally awesome and cool dude and I got to meet him. I don't know if there's any kids in the stream. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't think that through. <laughs> oh no. Did I just ruin Christmas for some kid out there? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. I... <laughs> yeah, you know, that's deserved. <laughs> the angry cat is totally deserved in that case. trying to like go around it I was trying to go around it by saying like that's the year that I found out when instead of just outright saying that uh the iPod Nano was from somebody else that wasn't my mom but um I failed both ways no matter how I was gonna do it I failed I didn't think it through okay um I still have my Nano oh my god yeah mine never worked <laughs> Uh, we were poor, so the first MP3 player I got was Dollar Store One in like 2007. I got the 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 shuffle was literally free from my mom because uh, she won some sort of giveaway. I don't really know what it was for, but it was some sort of giveaway. I'm gonna also do this. You didn't get me with that one. Good try, though. I can't wait to actually be able to do traditional art streams so that one actually works better. Because I didn't have any pencils in my bed today for that to work. Um, and then the the iPod Nano my mom got of, off of eBay or Craigslist or one of the two, so it ended up not working. Oh. I might move. I I wasn't too happy with how thick that lollipop stick was. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna sneeze. Nope, it went away. All right. Uh, my Nano was the pink one, and it's still sitting in my cupboard right now. I just don't have the charger for it anymore. Rip. <laughs> Mine was a, a lime green. 
And if you know me, you will know that, like, green is not my favorite color. Not a huge fan of green. So it was kind of funny that that's the one that my mom got me, but it was probably the most affordable one. Just like I said, she got it from eBay. Or Craigslist. Or one of the two. I was still so excited when I opened it up, though, and then I realized it didn't work. And that's when my mom was like, oh, yeah, I got it from eBay. I was 15 or 16 at the time. I think I was 16. No, no, I was 13 because that's the year that I, yeah, yeah, I was 13. But, you know, for me to go 13 years, you know, believe in, that's, that's pretty good. Hang on, I should probably do this, Shannon and I. For those who don't know, I do have a throne. Um, Finch was so kind to donate towards me getting a switch last night. And there's not, like, it's over halfway funded. So if anybody wants to, I'm not saying you have to, but if anybody wants to and they have the extra cash, you can donate to help me get a switch because that's a dream item of mine. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, my father got a Zune, and that became a hand-me-down till, till it stopped working in 2013, and I got a smartphone in 2014. I never had a Zune, um, but I did have a cassette player and a CD player, and I was using my CD player up until college, so 20, a couple years ago, I stopped using it. It wasn't working. <laughs> Fun fact, to hold back a sneeze, press your tongue against the roof of your mouth until it goes away. I, maybe it's an unpopular opinion. I love sneezing. Absolutely love it. I love the feeling of sneezing. It's, it's like a release. It just, it's nice. Call me weird. You are more than welcome to call me weird. You can bully me. Chat, if you want to bully me, you are absolutely welcome. <laughs> I know that it's out of love, so. <laughs> Unless you relate to. Uh, does that look stupid? Nope, it looks, it looks fine. Cool. Um. I found out the thing you mentioned when I was a lot longer, younger. Wait, hang on. I found out the thing you mentioned. I, oh, you found out when you were a lot younger than 13. Yeah, yep, yep. Fun fact. Kara, if you're about, or if you're about blurb is accurate, you're a year older than me. Yep, I was born in November. Yeah, I was born in November 1995. So, I'm 27. <laughs> I wish I could help. No worries. You know, I, I mean, I, I struggle financially, which is part of why I have a throne in the first place. <laughs> Still, I put my money into things that I probably shouldn't, and that is mostly me wanting to um, spoil my friends. <laughs> oh no, I liked that top lip. It's the bottom one I didn't like. I might have to adjust that. Oh, maybe. Don't worry, my high pitch voice. Maybe, maybe just subtle, subtle move. Makes a world of difference. I think so. I think that's good. I'm going to do a quick save because I don't think I've saved in a hot minute. I found out, I found out in fourth grade, I think. Yeah, I believed until I was in seventh. July of 96. My roommate was also in 95 in the fall, though. We graduated together in 2014. I graduated in 2014, too. Oh, 
Yeah, you were like right on the cusp of being in school a year behind me. Because I think that if you were born in August, you would have had to start a year later. I didn't feel like filling that in manually. Yep, you would have. I know that I had a couple of friends in school who were born in, like, June of 96. To this day, I still get uh, mistaken for a 19 or 20 year old, though, in real life. Which isn't a bad thing. I'll take it, you know? I... Let me age slowly. <laughs> and then I have, like, the occasional teenager on my TikTok be like, you're, like, 40. No, I'm not. In real life, it's always, I get mistaken for younger than I am. I hate drawing eyes. I almost wonder if I copy pasted this eye and then did the little like <laughs> I probably could do it. But that feels not as genuine. We'll fill you in. There we go. Oh, is anybody else excited for the Mario movie? Sorry to change the subject. I just when I said there we go, I just I just remembered the Mario movie and I got excited. Um, I I really want to see it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was born in '98. I always looked a little older than I am though. That was me up until I don't know, because when I was. 13 to 15, I feel like I was mistaken for 18 or older all the time. And then at some point when I turned maybe like 19, I started looking younger than I was. Like, obviously I look older than 17 now. I don't, I, I would feel like I do. I usually get, like I said, um... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Anywhere between 19 and 23 is usually what I get. But when I tell people, like, oh, yeah, I'm 27, they don't believe me. <laughs> or they're like, what? No kidding. Like, co-workers I work with. Some of them don't realize that I'm 27. Uh, when I finally turned 18, my family was on a trip to Michigan on Mackinac... Mackinac Mackinac Island and some lady thought I was 12 wow really uh, I'm young born in 04 I'm 18 although I look like I'm still in middle school <laughs> hey you know what it, it kind of sucks but just love the fact that you look young because it'll help you in the long run that's what I'm learning because when I'm 30 I'm hoping to look like I'm younger 20s um, although at the same time, people think 30 and they're, I don't know what it is about, like, younger folk, but whenever young folk think of 30, they're like, oh, they're probably ancient or have wrinkles or this or that. But a lot of the 30-year-olds, like, most of us don't really look much different than we did when we were in 20s, which I, I don't know why I'm saying we, because I'm still in my 20s, but I'm getting pretty close to 30. And I still look like young 20, so. Can I bring you over here? Thank you. There we go. I'm going to do a quick save because I hate drawing eyes and no way am I going to redraw eyes again.
Um, I look younger because my face is round. Me too. Uh, but I have old features. Someone at a restaurant legit almost made me pay the bill when I was with my brother at a restaurant because I was like, or at a restaurant once, sorry. And I was like, uh, girl, I don't have my, my money. Wait, what is, I don't know what, I don't know what the, that word means. So I'm hesitant to say it. I don't have money blank. <laughs> um, it's the same feel as being stuck at a checkout and your mom leaves. Oof. I still, I, I mean, I obviously have to show ID whenever I get alcohol, which isn't often, because like I said, I don't usually drink. Um, but I, <laughs> the last time I bought alcohol, it was my first time actually buying it myself, especially through a checkout, and I was with my friend. And I was getting it for, no, this was, this was the time before last time, because I got some before, but, um, I went to the checkout, and it was a self-checkout. I didn't know what to do. I looked at the lady who was running the self-checkout, and I was like, hi, I have alcohol. And my friend looked at me like I was crazy. She's like, Carrie, you don't have to do that. She'll come over and like check everything once you check out like she'll have to check your id and everything you don't have to tell them when you're going into the self-checkout i didn't know i don't buy alcohol i thought you had to like tell people <laughs> and the woman at the checkout thought i was like just freshly 21 and i was like nope i am i think i don't know if i was 26 or 27 at the time i think i was 26 about to be 27. This was like quite literally just a few months ago. But oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, uh, for my Fall Guys stream, I do plan to get some Baileys and I'm going to have a Cosmic Hydrate Redeem. And that Cosmic Hydrate Redeem is a going to be me having a shot of Baileys. Also, those those lashes were way too far apart. Oh, Bible th Okay, that's what that is. Bible thump. Okay, it's a little dude from um I know it. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Why can't I think I binding of Isaac? There we go. Oh my god, it was driving me nuts. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> He's a little dude from Biting of Isaac. Uh, I'm running for my cat because I don't want to get her on my dress. I feel so mad rejecting her. Or you probably sad rejecting her. Not mad, but I totally get it. Especially if I, you're likely wearing black right now because that's standard for choir and band performances. Um, and I totally understand not wanting to get fur on your outfit because that'll be noticeable. There we go. She's got eyes. <laughs> Ooh, Bailey's. Yep, it's the only alcohol I can even remotely begin to stomach. And even then, I usually have it with chocolate milk, so... I will do a cup that's like, I was going to say 75 to 25, 75 being the uh, chocolate milk and the other 25 being, other 25%, oh my god, 25% being Bailey's, but honestly, it's probably closer to like 15.85. I do very little Bailey's. I usually do enough Bailey's just for a little bit of taste, but not that, you know, cough syrupy flavor, if you know what I mean. Cause I don't like, I don't like how alcohol tastes. And I know, I know, people don't drink for the taste. I don't care. <laughs> I do just a little bit. If I don't like the taste of something, I'm not gonna drink it. But, I, I am fixing my hair. I'm having an OCD moment. And I'm allowed to say that I am diagnosed. 
Um, yes, I'm wearing all black, like, velvetish. Yep. Bro, Bailey is my name and I thought you were talking to me. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> nope, I'm talking about Bailey's Irish cream. Bailey's and chocolate milk? That sounds delightful. Yes, that or Bailey's and hot chocolate. Those are two top tier mixes that I do. Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. Good job. You, you got me. You got me. You trolled. That's been getting me a lot lately. The Discord calls. Oh, did I just... Yep, I did. Hang on. I'm gonna do these brows. And then I'm gonna check chat again. Da, 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 da. I really like chatting with people. It's fun. I get so awkward whenever stream's quiet because I'm like, I, I want to talk to people, but I don't know who to talk to. And I can be a chatterbox. I just want to talk to people. <laughs> Sometimes I'm talking more than I am drawing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, yawn. Witches had black cats because the fur wouldn't show up on the dresses. That's why I have black cats, except for I'm not a witch. <laughs> my baby's a black cat. I love him very much. He's my boy. I do wear a lot of the black, though, so it kind of works. Uh, I definitely drink for the taste, to be honest. I haven't had alcohol in a little while, though. Yeah, the last time I had alcohol would be New Year's. Um, and it was Bailey's and chocolate milk. <laughs> and I had it at like 9 o'clock in the no it wasn't 9 o'clock in the morning I think it was closer to 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning that I had Bailey's and chocolate milk it was very early it was too early to be doing that shit <laughs> ooh wait you know what I could do this brat really easily let me go to my single tool uh, brush size I think I am working with 15 Oh. oh. Oh, that one could be cute. Wow, that's not size 15. I could do that where it's a little bit more rounded, or I could stick with more of a rectangular one. I think for um, the sake of consistency, I'm going to keep it like that. Um, I had to let my hair dye fade so I wouldn't stick out too much and now look like white blonde. Oh, like more uh, platinum blonde, you mean? My cat is black, but it still stands out like a sore thumb. I mean, I guess in the lighting, you wouldn't notice it because cat hair does kind of have a shimmer to it. I mean, like any hair does, it has a little bit of a shine. And black cats also have white tips on their hair. Or sometimes they have white whiskers. My boy has white whiskers. So, a couple of years ago, I tried a Bailey's flavored eggnog. Wasn't too bad. I'm not usually a bit a big eggnog fan, though. I'm not an eggnog fan either. Islanders versus Red Wings? Okay, I do... I realized why Red Wings sounded so familiar to me the other, the other day, by the way. It's because I was thinking of the shoe brand. There is a shoe brand called Red Wing. Red Wing Shoes. That's why it sounded familiar to me. Not necessarily... I mean, it might be because of... Like, the name probably came from the hockey team. I don't know. But. <laughs> That's why it was familiar. It is hockey, right? Not related at all. Okay. Never mind. Forget everything I said. I, I wouldn't know. Um. But that's why it sounded familiar to me, is because I realized I went to a Red Wing Shoes recently, and, uh, 
That's why it was familiar. Uh, my hair is like white. Ooh. You do like white hair though. Fun fact, one of my very first anime crushes was Inuyasha. I only thought of that because um, his his white hair. I know a lot of people like Sifumaru. I'm always like, I like the guys that have a bit of attitude and a little bit of spice. And Inuyasha was that dude. <laughs> I like the kind of slow burn romance where they're kind of standoffish at first and like, no, I don't like you when it's so obvious that they do. I like that little, that little romantic trope thing. <laughs> Attitude guys are top tier, I agree. <laughs> I have to play a song all by myself in like an hour. Oh, best of luck to you. I hope it goes well. I'm sure you're gonna do fantastic. Try not to worry too much. It's always super nerve wracking getting up on stage. I know, I've had a few solos in my life. I, I feel ya. Not in band, but in choir. I also was a, um, lead role in the school musical when I was in sixth grade and then that's the musical that made, made me quit singing on stage because I was sick and I lost my voice and it didn't come out on stage and people were very mean <laughs> so I quit singing on stage because of it <laughs> and now I can't really hold a tune it's fantastic I mean, I, I probably can. I just, I'm too anxious to sing in front of people anymore, so. I sing by myself. Um, it's in the Hall of the Mountain King? Like 99% 16th, oh my gosh, yeah, that's, that's rough. 16th notes on low breath. I don't know much about um, instruments, but I know 16th notes aren't exactly easy. I'm sure you'll do fine though. You've been practicing, you've been doing a lot of hard work. You'll get, you, you've got this, you can do this. Um, I've been drawing with you, which means I've been drawing for two hours. Hey, you're getting in your daily practice, right? Has it already been two hours? Oh my god, it has. The reason why I chose um, 6 p.m. tonight was because I work tomorrow. And I knew I wanted to try and stream for four hours-ish. So. I don't want to be up till 11. Because I get up at 4.30 in the morning. Even 10 p.m. is pushing it a little bit, but... I'll be fine. That's what coming home and taking naps is for. <laughs> uh, we have an uh, accompaniment. I can't pronounce words. I know what you're talking about. It's a piano in the background. Yeah. Four thirty a.m. The chickens are upset that you woke them up. Look, corporate America, am I right? We don't wake up with the sun. We wake up with the business hours. Hi, 
Her face isn't quite as cute as the one I did yesterday. I mean, it's cute, but I like the one I did yesterday so much more. Like, she is cute. Don't, I, I like her a lot better flipped. But the one that I did yesterday, oh, I'm just obsessed with her little face. So those of you who missed the one from yesterday, here, I'll pull it up. I'm really happy with how she turned out. Hello. Oh, that's not the right. Boop, boop, boop. Look at her little face. I'm obsessed with this little face. She's so cute. Oh, that. <laughs> This one's still very cute. I just, I love the other one so much more. I don't know, there's something about this one that I just love. Maybe it's the angle that she's looking at? That might be it. The little head tilt always gets me. It very well could be that. Hang on, I... In the Hall of the Mountain King is a pretty popular song. It's just not well known by name. Uh, if I could hum, if I could hum the beat, you would know it. Oh, okay, I probably would. Hang on, I need to refresh my chat because it's starting to mess up a little bit. There, we're back. We're good. What do I have notifications for? Excuse me? Hang on. I gotta look into something real quick. Hang on. I just got a new patron on um, my Patreon. And I'm just wanting to see if I'm reading this right. Because what the fuck? I got an email. Notifications. Ow, my leg. I don't see that. It's not in my... Wait, I'm going to take a video and send it to you on Discord so y'all can hear it. Alrighty, hang on. I... I don't see any information about that. Hello? No, patrons. I want to see my patrons. Hello? <laughs> uh, new. Oh, okay. What does that mean? I Somebody just joined and I don't know they joined the five dollar printable coloring page tier, right? Um but it says hundred and ten dollars per month. What what why? What why? But it doesn't show that either. It's like MXN, so I'm confused. What does MXN 110 mean? I don't know. I'm very confused. I, I guess I'll find out next month uh, what it means. But if they're paying me $110 a month, I'm going to feel so guilty. I... <laughs> I know that some of my patrons come to my Patreon and they're like, well, I feel better, like, paying you more because, you know, you've put out all this content and I have access to all of it and I haven't been here every month, so I'm going to pay you more because you have more than $5 worth of content here. Which is true, I do, but it doesn't mean that you have to pay more, you really don't have to.
110 MXN is 586 USD. Okay. I got so scared that they were paying $110 USD. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. So they, they are paying the right price for the coloring page tier then if you include tax. Oh my goodness, I got so anxious. I was about to message them and be like, you don't have to pay me that much. You're fine. This was a mistake. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's a whack or a mistake. It was it was honest. It was just something I'm not used to. That's something I want to include. Like I I want to do more YouTube videos someday and I want to start including my patrons at the end of them. Make a list. Because obviously they do help support funding my life. Um, currently I make about 30 to $40 a month from Patreon, which isn't a lot, but that's enough for a couple of meals for me. And also helps to pay for my kitty cats. So I'm thankful for it nonetheless. <laughs> Okay. Okay. File. Save. That would have been scary. 110 a month. It wouldn't be the first time I've had somebody do that. Um, I still remember him to this day. I don't know what he's up to in life. Or if he's doing okay. I haven't heard from him in a while. Though he is still in my Discord. Just not active. Um... There was a guy named Espen, and he used to give me a lot of money per month. He used to do $150 a month uh, several years ago on my Patreon. And I still, like, appreciate him so much. He did make my life a lot easier back then. I don't think he's in my Discord anymore. Hang on, I want to check something. I don't even think I have the... I used to have a Patreon-only channel. And I've since gotten rid of it. But Espen, if you happen to ever come across the stream or my stuff, just know I still remember you. I, I have freaking... Uh, I'd have freaked out also seeing it. Oh my god. Yeah, I I freaked. You, you should have heard me when I realized last night after stream uh, that Finch donated towards a Nintendo Switch. And when I saw the amount, I was like, Finch! 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 And then that's when I started messaging in the Discord like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> I was flipping out. Finch is so cool for that. Oh my god. <laughs> I started tearing up. I was like, oh my god, what do I do? How do I handle this? Because I, I genuinely, I just didn't know what to do or how to handle myself. I've never gotten something like that before. Um, the other thing that I've had on my wish list for a long time, quite literal years, is an iPad, though it's not super necessary because I do have my drawing tablet that I can connect to my laptop. An iPad has been on my wish list for quite literally six years now. Just for easy on the go drawing stuff. Like I could easily pack that in my bag and take it to Ohio with me if I wanted to when I go see my mom. Although I've been taking my laptop because I can play games with my brother, so. <laughs> I disassociated for a minute, and then all I heard was Finch is so cool for that. And you are. It was, uh, I was talking about 
how I was flipping the fuck out over the, um... <laughs> Sorry, I had a hiccup. Over the Nintendo Switch donation last night. Because that was a lot of money towards it. I also spoke about it at the beginning of stream because I'm still, like, a shook. Do people even say shook anymore? I don't know. I still say it. Oh, I can't really do that last bit of the hair down there until I have the sleeves all lined. I find it so funny how some drawings I can get sketched and inked within like two hours. And then other ones like this one, it's going to take me <laughs> forever. I should at least be able to get, um, wait, what time is it? I should hopefully be able to get at least another thing sketched. That'll save me some time for tomorrow. I can at least get like the pose sketched. I don't really know what I want to do outfit wise yet. But yeah. Um Daisy did some music in the Oh, Daisy, you did music in the Discord? Okay, here. Let me let me listen to it on my phone rather than on stream because if I listen to it on stream, it's I, I'm afraid of copyright. So uh, I'm going to switch. I, I won't be able to reach. Actually, I can reach out. I'm going to switch over to Streamlabs. You'll still be able to see the drawing on stream, but I'm going to have my chat opened so I can at least still reach out. Let me go to my Discord. Discord. Oh, there's the channel. Oh, it's looking like I won't be able to make it. I didn't confirm because I wasn't sure I'd be home yet, but it looks like we won't be leaving till Monday. Oh, that's from Threadwing in regards to Pico Park. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just saw another message from another friend of mine. So, you guys know how I'm doing the 1,000 follower special stream on February 5th. I posted that into my Discord um, as an event for people to say that you're interested in. And I also shared it into my friend Discord. So, I have two different Discord pages. I have one for, like, you guys. And then I have one for um, my close friends. So, if I happen to make a friend and I become close with them, I send them the link. And... Uh, my buddy Travis, in response to the 1,000 follower Fall Guys special stream, said, Question on the Fall Guys, though. We gotta com- or do we gotta compete for entry, or is it like the lobby can handle up to 1,000 people at once? <laughs> it just made me, like, shriek laugh. Um, he's funny. Travis, you're funny. Anyways, let me listen to that little clip now, because I can. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably don't have that right, but it's fine. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about now. AFK, dinner time already. I hope you have a good dinner. I'm curious to know what it is, so do let me know when you get back. Or you can tell me ahead of time if you haven't already left. What did everybody have for dinner? I'm afraid to say what I had for dinner. Uh, <laughs> it's on point. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm kind of scared to say what I had for dinner because a lot of people would find it disgusting. I had what I call my college meal. So, when I was a broke college kid, this is a meal I had quite frequently and I haven't grown out of it. Uh, I had tuna nachos. And I, I feel like I've probably mentioned it on stream before. But whenever I mention it, somebody's usually like, you. Um, 
but it's quite literally tuna with the, I want to say it's Old El Paso. I don't remember the name of the seasoning, but it's an original taco seasoning. It comes in yellow packaging with like red designs. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about just from me mentioning that little bit. So I take tuna, mix that seasoning in with it, and then throw Mexican cheese on it. Throw it in the microwave, mix it all together, and then it's like a little dip for my tortilla chips. If you like tuna, you'd likely like it. If you are not a fan of tuna, then you would not. I just take canned tuna, nothing special. It's very similar to like chicken nachos or um, you know, just nachos in general, it's just tuna instead of chicken or beef. Uh, I'm having hot dogs for dinner. Maybe something on the side. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a moment during stream last night when I was playing Fall Guys and I just spun out during a level and the first thing that came to my mind was how my character looked like a hot dog from 7-Eleven. <laughs> I have it clipped on my page if you're curious about it. I also posted it in the uh, Discord in the clip channel. Stream clips and stuff. So if you're curious to see that and see what I'm talking about, it's clipped there. You can see for yourself. This would be the moment that I actually share my Discord. Hang on, let me let me share my Discord for those of you who aren't in there yet. I'll be lurking for now. I have an, I have an hour to practice. You do that practicing. You're going to do great, though, I promise. You're going to do fantastic at your performance. <laughs> Thank you, Finch. Um... Kidney beans. That sounds pretty tasty, though. I love tuna. Me too. I tuna tuna casserole is another one of my favorites. Though I know it's normally done with cream of mushroom soup. I'm allergic to mushroom. I can't have mushroom, so um, I use cream of chicken soup. Also, what is going on with her shoulder? I think I'm gonna do her hair a little bit differently. Am I doing this in a way that um, covers up her shoulder? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Car. I'm not used to being called Car. <laughs> vroom, vroom, bitch. <laughs> I feel like anybody who comes to my streams after seeing just my art on TikTok or YouTube are probably thrown off guard whenever I start cursing because I don't I don't curse in my YouTube or my TikTok videos. But I do on stream because this is more of just like my place to be myself. Um, I don't curse in my videos typically because advertisers or whatever the heck. Um, I just or I just don't really think much about it. It must be funny though. I was very thrown off at first. Yeah, this is more so how I speak in real life though, or with friends. I used to be better about watching my mouth. When I first started streaming, I was like, okay, no cursing, I'm not gonna do it. And then somewhere along the way, I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm here for a good time. I'm not here to watch my mouth. If other streamers can get away with cursing, so can I. <laughs> vroom vroom. Yes, now I am a car. I feel like if anybody really wants to throw me off, they'll start calling me Anne, which is the second part of my first name, which I've never been called, by the way. That, pff, that would be weird. <laughs> I'm so used to going by Kara because that's all I've ever done. There's some people in my life who don't even realize that I have... A second part to my first name. Uh, curse them that will make... Wait, hang on. Curse them with something that will make them stub their toe. And when it's about to heal, they stub it, a uh, stub it again? Wait, for what? 
Is it, oh no, I was wait, what? Nani? I'm confused now. <laughs> Curses. Oh, wait, yeah? I was talking more about like, fuck, shit, bitch, that type of stuff. Because that's something I don't do in my videos. Although I wonder if I just happen to... <laughs> I feel like if I just happen to sneak in a curse one of these days into one of my YouTube or TikTok videos, I wonder how my following would react. I feel like it would be really funny to do. Just to see what type of reaction I would get from people. I wonder if I would have people who are like, Wow, I didn't know you had a potty mouth like that. Or, um, I used to really watch you because you're so much more PG. What happened to you? Um, nothing happened to me. I'm same as I always have been. Except for the fact that, you know, I didn't actually curse till I was 18. Um, I swear way too much. I've tried to cut down on it, but I always, or but it always sneaks its way back in. At some point, you just give up. That's what happened with me. Yeah, Kara, what happened to you? I don't know, man. I ask myself every single day. <laughs> What happened, Kara? You used to be so much so much more passionate about your art. Why don't you really do much art anymore? Why are you always streaming? Joke's on you. I'm streaming and drawing. Coloring is what I don't do enough of these days because uh, I don't know about you guys, fellow artists, uh, maybe you'll relate. The amount of anxiety I feel before I go to color a new piece is insane if you ever wonder why it takes me so long to um color something it's not because i'm lazy it's just the amount of anxiety i feel Uwu stan? You got a free Uwu. Congratulations. Is that right? Oh. I hate the knocking so much. I hate it so much. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Here, I can make everyone stay. I, c I can make everyone stay. I just need to open this up real quick. Uh, where's my mod tools? How do I get to my mod tools? Hello? Woo! <laughs> Okay, I, I, I was going to try to make everyone stay, but apparently I can't get to it very quickly. I thought that there was a way to go to my mod view via, um, show my, show, show. Show mod icons? Well, yeah, I could do that, but... ah, The plan was I was going to refund everyone on their points, but I can't figure out how to do that. Not from my current view, anyway, unless I just straight up opened um, Twitch and another browser. She's looking pretty cute. Considering this is <laughs> what she started out as. So we have that versus the redraw. So 
so far. I don't know, guys. Do you think I've improved? <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I'm fucking. I know that I've improved. So much improvement. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that was not the shape I was going for. Affirmative. Oh, sorry. Affirmative. I don't know how to do robotic speak. I kind of wish I had um, a voice changer. I feel like that would be kind of fun. Okay, that's a good hat. The face is the thing that shocks me the most as far as my improvement goes. Like, look at that face improvement. Between then versus now. I still can't get over that side part I initially gave. And her ear. Can we just take a moment? Look at the ear. Just... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Aw. Why the end? Um, how long ago was the first one? The first one. It was sometime between 2011 to 2013, so this is a decade difference. <laughs> but I used to draw a lot more in previous years. I need to get back into drawing. I need to focus more on anatomy practice because I feel like I've fallen out of touch a little bit with my anatomy. Some days I do really well. Other days I struggle a lot. Um, today I was truthfully having a bit of a struggle day with my anatomy. I was struggling with it. It's still probably not accurate, but it's an improvement compared to, you know, this one. Especially since she's supposed to be facing this way. That's the way she's supposed to be facing, so... Let me. She looks so shy. Like, she's legitimately a teenager and she's grown up now. The hair is, like, folding over the shoulder here, but I'm kind of wondering if I regret that. Um, watching you draw is making me want to also do it. Pick up a pen. Maybe if I add these little strands of hair here, it'll make it more obvious. That's kind of like folding over the shoulder. There we go. Because it's supposed to be hair that's just like folded over the shoulder slightly. Or you can't really see her full shoulder. gonna add another little strand up there because I like loose hairs. Ah, uh, oh gosh, I gotta go, Din Din, and I need to curl the locks. Love you, <laughs> good luck on the views. Thank you, good luck on your performance. I'm sure you're gonna do great. Let us know how you do in the Discord. Um, struggle bus, yes. I start drawing with you. I know I'm making my favorite drawing of a human. You're doing your... F Yay! I'm glad that you're proud of yourself and how you're doing on your drawing. Good. Good. I'm glad. I don't know why. This makes me think about a hoodie I have that I got freshman or as a freshman in high school. And it was massive on me. And now it fits me like a normal hoodie. Ugh. I think I still fit in most of my high school clothes. <laughs> I haven't really... I, I mean, I was my heaviest my senior year of high school. Um, since then, I have lost... I've, I've gone down about 50 pounds from my heaviest. So I feel like I haven't changed much. I've gained more muscle is what it is. I've been on my legs a lot more because of my retail job. Um, so I've gained muscle. But I feel like physically my face might be a little bit thinner. 
Otherwise, I, I don't know. I don't know that I've changed a whole lot. I, all I know is that I still fit in my old high school stuff. <laughs> Why would one curl a lock? Hmm. <laughs> Door pad or bolt? Seems odd. <laughs> if I say I got two, it's good. Wait, if you can, hang on. Um, I need to read your first message because I'm a little bit confused here. I hope so. I'll let you know how it went. The goal is to get a one or two, so looking forward to that. Alrighty. So if you get a two, it's good. If it's a one, that what does that mean? Curl and hair, Finch. Hair. Finch knows. Finch is messing with ya. One is top tier. Okay. So if you get a one, then it's like really, really, really good. But two is good. Two is good. One is like really good. I turned like <laughs> slightly demonic there. I'm sure it'll be fun. Hang on, I gotta readjust my legs. This is the problem with sitting in my bed. My legs are never comfy. <laughs> I either I have to have them super far stretched out in front of me or cross legged. Bye! Three and four are danger zones. Lower okay, lower the number the better. Alrighty. I gotcha. Um I was just a tiny at first. I was like a foot and had narrow shoulders and I couldn't get... Oh, you couldn't gain weight no matter how much you tried. We have the opposite problem. I gained weight just from like looking at a cake. I could be super active. I was part of my tennis team. I was a varsity tennis player. But I was always a big girl. Always have been. I've always been chunky. Me too, kidney beans. Oh, I just had a back crack and it felt so good. God, I love Animal Crossing music. Hey, being chunky just increases your beauty. <laughs> More to love. <laughs> As my mom always says. Uh, I grew 8 inches in high school and then my shoulders got very broad between 16 and 20. That's pretty normal. Um, at least from what I've heard for guys and what I've seen. <laughs> Although some guys do stay relatively slim all their life I've seen as well. I know this is from Animal Crossing, but I'm trying to remember where in the game this is from. Is this the shop? I don't remember. Gosh, it's been so long since I played. I don't remember how many hours I had in, in the game either. It, it was a lot. Down with the thickness again, you brought that one up. 
but hell yeah. I think it's the shop. Oh yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's the shop too. I'm adding all sorts of like little Ow. You ever bite like the side of your nail, the skin, and it just ow. <laughs> Cause I just did that. Oh, and then I have horror visions whenever I feel that of like the skin peeling back all the way down your wrist. Ah! Your wrist and arm. Ugh. Ouchie, yeah. That's the problem with me working with boxes all the time and being a truck unloader, stalker, retail employee. Um, I gotta use the same joke twice. You certainly did. I love some thick with quadruple C's thighs. Uh, the way I want to go out is smothered by someone I love. <laughs> you and many people I know. <laughs> you are not alone with that one. Okay. Should I just do the hand how it is here? I hate drawing hands. This is not going to be a good hand. I'm going to warn you now. Um, I frankly <laughs> do not care. Because hands on, I, I just need to practice drawing hands, frankly. I need to do something that involves nothing but practicing hands. Because fudge. Uh, if I could reference my own hand on my hip right now, I totally would. But, I can't. So, I'm going to do my best here and find a quick little reference if I can. I'm not seeing anything in the position I want. Maybe that hand? I don't know. Um, I feel like I have a very distinct style is my problem when it comes to drawing hands. And also, her hand's in a different position than this arm is. Wait, this one. You can't see it because text is covering it. Urgh. Um, let me try... Ooh, this might work. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. <sighs> Hands and feet are the <laughs> number one thing artists complain about honestly that is factual information right there okay looking at this I'm going to try I'm going to try putting this into my little preview thing my sub view is what it is called. Because I can go back and forth between the other views. I already have been. So fudge it. Oh, hello. All right. I've got my, my little thing, and here we go. I'm going to try making this hand look halfway decent. I can already tell I'm going to flump this. I don't know. Um, it's also been three hours. Has it already been three hours? Oh my gosh, it's already almost nine. See, my Fitbit's about to tell me that um, I should be getting ready for bed here soon. Uh, yeah, no, that's not right. Yeah, 
even with a reference I'm like struggling oh gosh I don't know what that was that was almost <laughs> I feel like inking hands is just the bane of so many artists existence I, I feel like I've already said this I don't care I I'm struggling right now I'm I'm gonna be honest I feel like that's not terrible compared to how it was drawn initially um let me see maybe a little bit larger I'm not an artist but my elder sister and my aunt both are um, 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 more minutes until 9. Try adjusting the fingers to look more like that. It's better than the sketch. <laughs> I'll give it that. Um, can't really see the thumb. I don't think you were supposed to see the thumb. So pretend like that thumb never existed. All right, all right. I'm glad we could come to an understanding. I don't remember this song in Animal Crossing. Was this like one of the nighttime ones that I just never got to experience? Hi, water. Now this, I'm pretty sure, is like, um, it sounds like either the dream thing or, uh, the, the rug, the rug, like, camel person. The camel that sells the rugs. I can't remember her name. I would say it's like Sahara. Actually, probably likely be more like that because it's at a distance. Uh, my grandfather got, oh, my grandfather I got my legal name from was also a bit of an artist. He was also a locksmith, a, jewel, a jeweler, a carpenter, a sailor, and my mom's gymnastics coach. Sounds like your grandfather was busy. That's a lot. Good on him, though. Okay. Um, yeah, I do need to make the hand a little bit larger, I will admit. But overall... Where do I want to make you larger? This way? Just a little bit bigger. Not much bigger. Wait, yeah. This and then deselect. <laughs> Blame it on foreshortening. I hate foreshortening. I've had a couple pieces that were successful with foreshortening, but... And I keep telling myself, I'm going to practice for shortening, I'm going to practice for shortening, and then I don't, because I like staying in my comfort zone, and frankly, I'm not going to grow if I don't step out of my comfort zone, but at the same time, I'm not in art 
for growth. I do it for fun. So. Jesus. Jesus. You scared me. I'm also going to cheat these nails. I did this with uh, one of Threadwing's characters. <laughs> A really cheap and easy way to make nails is the liquify tool. Fun fact. <laughs> so if you ever need to add some nails to your character, there you go. Noted. Yes. Just do exactly what I did. I drew the little lines for where the nails would be and then the liquify tool. And then I go back in and I just kind of fix up the line weight and adjust it just a smidge. That is such a quick way to do it. It was indeed fun. <laughs> Part of me hates being bullied. But the other part of me loves it. I just like having, I like having people here. <laughs> it was rough for a while because my streams used to be so quiet and I feed off of other people. Um, if there's nobody else here, I struggle a lot to come up with things to say or to talk about. And I'm sure that's true for everyone naturally. But... It made me really insecure because <laughs> I just wanted to talk to people. And I don't always know what to talk about. I try to come up with topics, but it doesn't always work. Ambiverts make the world go round. There's a song about like making the world go round and I can't remember. Oh, I'm thinking of um, the Powerpuff Girls song. Like, love, 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 love makes the world go round. Love, 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 la, la, love, la, la, love makes the world go round. Maybe I could play around with color a little bit, but I really, I'm not good at coloring digitally. I don't want to be made fun of. Because <laughs> somebody will probably come in here and be like, what are you doing? That's not how you color digitally. Look. I don't know what I'm doing. But at the same time, I welcome them. Yeah, come bully me. Come do it. Harass me. I dare you. No, please, wait. <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah, Emerald Guy knows. You know what's up. <laughs> Where did her rib cage go? Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. I gave her a rib cage earlier and then apparently I took it away again. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to adjust my line widths. Fix her on back up. Maybe erase a little bit here. Uh, shit, I need to drive for an hour tomorrow morning. Oh no. I mean, hour drives aren't too, too bad. You've got that. You can do it. 
I guess it really depends on where you're from. Because I know over in the United Kingdom, an hour drive is like a long way for some people. When I told uh, some of my UK friends that it's pretty standard to drive an hour to get to work over here in the States, they were like, no way. That's such a long distance. And I'm like, no, nah, it's really standard. A lot of people drive that far every day for work. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Does anybody else just randomly have Spongebob quotes come into their head? I mean, I'm sure they do. I, I've experienced that. I'm just asking if any of you in chat. I know that there are my my brand of people out there. <laughs> yes, old poo. One of us. See, that's the level of speed I'm trying to get to with digital art, is doing lines of that quickly everywhere. But no, I'm not there yet. I'm still a big ol' slowpoke at digital art. Oh, shoot. No. No. I could try coloring her on stream. I'm still gonna color her traditionally because that's how she was initially colored and I want to compare my traditional skills then versus now. But I need to practice drawing or coloring uh, digitally because I'm not very used to it. And watching Threadwing has helped me a little bit in terms of improving my skill, I think. I'm so tempted to give her a choker. <laughs> not that one. Um, she didn't have a choker in the original, but look, she had a little streak of red. I tried giving streaks of red and it just didn't go very well. That's why she's supposed to be. I keep having her flipped. I need to flip this canvas. Ah. Uh... So now this is her actual direction. I don't like going an hour out. Um for work because I can't get to as many calls during the day. Mm, that's fair. Uh, you get better. Yeah, I know I get better the more I practice. It's just, I don't like the, the struggle of getting better, if you know what I mean. And the more jobs I do, the more likely I am to get tips or an end of the week bonus. That makes sense. Okay. I get you. I get you. I feel like... <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy. Um, oh shoot. Trust. Trust me. I don't, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Not really. Oh! <laughs> Stretch her head up. Um, I'm not liking her neck. Maybe it's just because I can't see it. I know it looks... <sighs> I don't know. There's something bugging me. I mean, her arms lifted up, so it's natural that the shoulder would be up, too. I'm going to give her a choker and see what I think. I know I give chokers to a lot of my characters, but... I like chokers. Yeah. Let me try my, uh... 
Where's my brush? Where is it? Too big. <laughs> Too small. Yes, I did make a brush specifically for the choker. If I just add a little bit of something over there to make it look like it was there. I mean, that looks like a Kara piece. <laughs> I feel like it's not a Kara piece if I don't have a choker or stars. Um, usually the stars come with color. I shall save. The stars typically come with color, so... Oh, I undid the canvas flip, too. Uh, a carapace. Yes, a carapace. <laughs> a carapace? Should I add... Honestly, this girl... I can't get over how that ear looks. What the heck? I wonder, can I? <laughs> I oh my gosh, I can't get over that ear, man. Although looking at this one now, I'm like, did I put the ear up too high? I think I put the ear up too high. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm just looking too long at this, but. Oh, shoot. I'm bringing down the. I don't want to bring down everything with it. You know, that's fine. The ear looks like it had a second smaller ear inside it on the old one. Yeah, it kind of does. I see something entirely different that's not appropriate, though. there and I feel like honestly this girl had she existed today 100% 100% would have had piercings so I'm gonna add piercings to her ears because I can because she totally would have with the style that she was yeah, she, she would have 100% had piercings. But back then, I didn't really know how to draw piercings. So, um, industrials. She probably would have had a nose ring too. I'm not doing that though. She would have likely had a, like, lip piercing. I'm wondering if I should do a different... Oh, whoa, what happened in my brush there? Doesn't matter. I'm going to do... This. Right there. <laughs> I want to get industrials and more tattoos. I wish I could have piercings. Um, like, I don't have my ears pierced because I, I got them pierced when I was four at Claire's. <laughs> don't do that. Um, I was very young, though, when I got my ears pierced, and my ears tore, like, they tore. I couldn't get piercings, really, again, after that. We tried once more when I was older, 
And again, my ears just tore right through. So I gave up and, oh, where did my chappy stick go? How did it roll all the way down there? Oh my goodness. My chapstick went all the way to the bottom of the container. The bad they don't sanit or they don't sanitize the punch. I didn't like we didn't know that when I was young though, because when I was four it was 1999, so I got them done very young. Ah, oh, good night, old boo. Well, thank you for stopping into the stream. Um, I need to get my ears re-pierced. I had to take my earrings out for sports when I was a kid, and now they're all closed up because I could never put them back in. Oh, I'm sorry. But I mean, that, that does make sense. That's not what I was going for. Um... I we'll keep finding things that I'm just like nitpicking. I don't mind the little bit of wobble there just because this is a sweater. So naturally there would be a bit of wobble. But that arm was bugging me because the upper sleeve looked really thick compared to the bottom one, so I wanted to adjust that. A little bit of adjustment there. Maybe a minor one over here. Oh, I'm like looking at this like... Is that better? I think it is. Um, I need to go to Michigan and visit my aunts. Haven't been, or haven't seen them since my mom passed. Oh, yeah, they probably would like to see you too. I'm sorry about your mom. I don't know if that's better or not. Kind of looks better. Just those minor tweaks. But maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Anything is better than that one. Okay. I wanted to make sure she was a little bit more centered. And there. I think she's, I think the line art's about done. Ah, uh, it's been just over four years. I don't know what I would do if I ever got that news. It's a, like, fear of mine. That or my brother. <sighs> or my cat. I think about my cat all the time. Like, that's... <laughs> okay. So the color I used back then... Let me see. Oh, it gives me more of a minty color, which is interesting. Because I was going for more of a... I think this is the color I was kind of working with. I'm just going to experiment and see what I can do color-wise within the next hour, about 50 minutes or so. 
Let's have, a, have some fun and just play around with color. Because why not? I like coloring, so filling stuff in is pretty fun. That's the color I was going for, though. Do I still? Yeah, I'm still gonna go with these colors because that's what I wanted back then. So I don't know if I have these in marker form, though. Maybe it was slightly different than this because I think it was supposed to be B02 Copic color. Let me just tonal correction, edit, tonal correction, hue. Oh, that's too much. I think it would have been more like that. Go with this color. Um, I honestly think I honestly think it would have been less traumatic um, if I had gotten it as news instead of it happening. Oh, it happened in front of you. I'm sorry. That's even worse. I've not been in that situation before, but I imagine it's not not a good situation. Wait, can I? Ooh, okay. I can just I can just use the bucket tool. <laughs> yeah. Um respectfully I think we're gonna try and stray away from too much talk about that um, just because I want to try and keep the chat mostly positive I know that it's something that you went through that really sucks and I'm really sorry I just don't know how to personally respond and I don't know what other people might be experiencing in their day to day life somebody else might be experiencing it and the last thing I want to do is like um, you know, <laughs> sorry, no worry, Fend, you're fine. I just want to be a little bit cautious about it, you know? <laughs> Still appreciate ya. I don't know how I got on this topic. Um, you were mentioning that you wanted to, or you needed to go see some aunts because you haven't seen them since you, uh, you were going to, you were, you were talking about coming to Michigan. Oh, that's okay. I kind of like this blue color though. Makes me think of skies. What was the theme I was going for back then? I don't really know. I don't think I had much of a theme. I do know that I'm not going to do that little red streak in her hair. I might use that. Like, it's not even red. It's more of like a hot pink. I'm thinking I'm going to transition that color into the sucker because the sucker looks really pale. Um. And this, more or less right now, is just me kind of experimenting and seeing what I want to do. It is so satisfying to color, though. I still haven't decided on skin color, because back then I didn't really have a whole lot of diversity in my characters either. Which is why Helly ended up changing her skin color um, from the original. She was white with blonde hair. I mean, she still has blonde hair, but she was white in my original drawing of her. And then 
Um, now she's a deeper complexion. I haven't really decided entirely. I mean, I guess she would be considered black, right? Or at least tan or mixed. Um, I usually say black, but it's because I wasn't super diverse with my work back then. I had difficulty with creating diverse characters. So now that I've improved with it, I try to include more diversity in my work. Oh, shoot. And you know what? I don't even know. Okay, it was that color. Cool. I hope I didn't chase you away, Finch. I didn't mean to upset you or anything if I happened to. I'm just trying to be a little bit more cautious with topics and chat. Oh, here's a fun story. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> I was so anxious that I upset you for a bit. I was scared. Um... Here's a fun story. My older sister and I went to an anime convention uh, convention, <laughs> convention in 2010, and we didn't know it at the time, but we met and got a picture of her now boyfriend like six years before they met. That's wild. Did you guys keep in touch afterwards for that long, or? Well, you did say you didn't know it at the time, but oh my gosh. Was a boyfriend like cosplaying or something? Oh no, wait, what? <sighs> That's fine, I can fix that. I did the line art on the wrong layer. <laughs> Just that one line. It's fine. That's okay. I can I can work with that. But oh that sucks. Uh, he was dressed as Zoro from One Piece. I am somewhat familiar with One Piece. Only somewhat. <laughs> I would get into it, but it's so long. Oh. Whew. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it, folks. Uh, my elder sister's forever has Bondo. See, mine has always been Inuyasha, but I have yet to see... I mean, aside from female Inuyasha cosplays, I have yet to see one that's like really really good I mean they're good but none that I've been like compelled to get a picture of if that makes sense nothing that piqued my personal in in uh, interest oh back then I just had her mouth hidden how small was her mouth like she didn't even have a mouth I know her, yeah, I had a feeling her skin was going to be like orange or yellow. Let me try working with this color. What does this one look like? I mean, aside from the fact it's going into the whites of her eyes, um, we could work with that one. I typically start off lighter and then go darker. Skin is really hard to color. Just marking out all my colors. There we go. Then go back in with this.
most guys I've seen do Inuyasha were very mad. That's my whole thing. Like, I, I have a specific idea in mind of what Inuyasha would look like in real life. And I guess that's my thing, is I'm looking for that specific person. I, I don't know, because Inuyasha was my first interest, like my first anime crush. So I have this, this very specific look I'm looking for when it comes to cosplays. I think I've seen a couple guys online who did it really well, but obviously I haven't met them at a convention. So I couldn't get their picture. I mean, the, their picture's online, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> um, I just remembered a weird story. Shoot. I feel like I'm just gonna crash once I get off here tonight because I am I am a tired individual. Oh, I didn't color her ear. That's fine. I I can go back and do it. Easy as that. If anybody is used to coloring digitally and has any tips for me, do let me know because this is something that I'm still like learning and trying to get used to. So if you have any ways to see, uh, to speed up the process, I am always willing to listen. Also, I struggle with um, <laughs> shading, so if you have any tips for that too, that'd be great. <laughs> Granted, this piece, uh, this is just me playing around. I am going to color this girl traditionally because she was initially colored with markers and I want to stay true to that. So. Hey. Actually, I wonder what color. I'm gonna try picking this color up because it might be nice for a lip color. Somewhere in here. That would be kind of nice. Let me play with this lip color. Ooh. So that color that I initially had in her hair that was like a, a streak, <laughs> that's actually a pretty nice lip color. I shouldn't really do the lips now, I'm aware, but... was satisfying. Oh, was it? Uh, okay. At a different convention, there was a guy cosplaying David Tennant. Um, his Doctor Who. Okay, so, ten. <laughs> I wanted to take a picture, so I got my sister, and they got to talking and added each other on Facebook. It turned out that he was 22, um, and that same year my sister accidentally invited him to her high school grad party. And he actually showed up. Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> we now know him as C 
creep. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Hang on a second. Her high school grad party. Yeah, that's a little weird. If he was that much older. Now that I'm looking back at it and it actually registered in my head, I was like, oh. The creepy neck. Then, yeah. He actually showed up, though. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that you got a picture with him and, like, he had a nice cosplay, it sounds like. But he barely knew the guy and he shows up. She turned 18 at the same time as her grad party. Maybe just being nice? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt. He just was there as a friend and not being, like, creepy or anything. So. <laughs> I'd hope not, anyway. But, some guys. Uh, Off white. Where's my paint bucket? Wait. <gasps> Wait. I didn't even realize I did that. Oh no. I have to go in and color that entirely different. Okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna do this. It's, everything's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna color that. Uh, her sleeves are gonna be two different colors, but that's okay. Um. I had two white spaces right by each other. So right here, there are two white spaces. And I colored the sleeve blue, not really thinking much of it. Because I wanted it to match the other sleeve. And now I'm all conflicted because that's Unless, you know, there is a weird angle, so I could probably get away with doing this because her sleeve is angled. It's likely that you don't see all of it. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to take this color again. And fill in that part. There we go. Redo the elbow spacing for the stripes? No, I think I, I think I figured out something. Also, if I sound quiet at all, it's because I'm sitting a little bit further away from my mic. If the music's too loud, do let me know. I can always make it a little bit quieter. Oh, her little clip was... Hey. There we go. Now for her hair... I don't really know what to do because I have all sorts of colors in here and a lot of them I'm not digging. I'm kind of liking more of a caramel brown color, which I think is what I was trying to go for. I could do that color. Actually, the missing stripe on the hip arm makes the arm look short. I mean, it's supposed to be foreshortened, so that's why I kind of stuck with that. Because it looks like it's tucked away behind the sleeve. Which is good. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't do the eyes either. I need to do the gray of the eyes. I also missed a spot down here. Also, if you ever color, um, the eyes... Like the whites of the eyes, they are never fully white. 
if you just do a light gray or a light blue or light purple or whatever color you're working with with your drawing whatever color your whites would be they would be like an off-white color This way, when you actually go to put in the eye shine, it really pops. Um, with the elbow crease, ah, maybe. I see I do have something I don't know I'll think about it I can always adjust it later um, right now I'm just messing around oh gosh I might be too lazy to do do extra work on the sleeves ready for bed I don't know about you guys Also, I think Finch, you're buying me breakfast in the morning with that DoorDash thing. Although I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know how that actually works. Is it going to be a physical thing or is it a... Or is it... Um, like something I'll be mailed. I actually don't know. I really planned on buying myself breakfast tomorrow with it, but I, d I don't know. <laughs> you don't know either. <laughs> the shrug says it all. I miss those uh, little text emotes. That was like peak internet. <laughs> I do like the like the other emotes because they're quicker to use and I use them all the time but part of me misses just the little text ones. We had to get creative with making little faces up. Those little text emotes walked so uh, nowadays emotes could run. Like, like, remember the little crying face you would do? This? It was like a little crying face? Hi. That one too. I usually just did TT. Um... Because I think that's what it was on Gaia Online. And I was on Gaia all the time. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do like shading or anything. <laughs> Just 
so is that a koala table flip oh my gosh miss koala would love that speaking of miss koala i wonder what she's up to is she streaming right now let me check who is streaming right now a couple people but they're all pretty successful I was thinking of raiding somebody tonight, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to raid and then just drop off because I'm tired and I have to get ready for bed and go to bed. Um, so I think I'm going to skip raiding tonight. As much as I do really love raiding people, I just, you know. <laughs> Well, maybe Bailey. What is Bailey? I know Bailey J is streaming, and she's doing Fall Guys. I could read Bailey. I mean, <clears throat> Bailey J is an artist and also plays Fall Guys. Kind of fitting for me. That's if she's still streaming when I'm done. Because she's doing pretty well. I wouldn't feel as guilty about, like, reading and running. Because I do sit in her streams. But she has like 128 viewers right now, so she's doing well. That's annoying. Oh, oh, you were trying to do like the bunny on different layer, layer levels of text, weren't you? I know what you were trying to do with that one. <laughs> also, hi, average guy. I didn't realize you were still in here. Oh, yeah, you went to make dinner. What did you end up having? Oh, 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 I got distracted and started following outside the lines. Good job, me. Pizza. Shift enter doesn't work on Twitch, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure you're right about that one. Hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this again because I, I haven't done it in a hot minute. I was trying to set up Nightbot, but for whatever reason, it's not working for me. That's the thing that automatically um, shuts out my throne every 15 minutes. I don't know why, it just, it wasn't working. It wasn't having it. <laughs> and Discord, yes. Just in case, right? I do still have you on the sub board today. Or on the, like, support board. I think I'm going to do weekly changes unless it starts getting to a point where it's just too much. Um, because I feel like, I mean, I'm not in that screen all the time, so a lot of people don't see it unless they're here for the beginning of stream. So, I'm going to leave it up for like a week on my support board and then switch over during new week. So, Sunday it'll be a fresh start. Because I think that's all I've had so far. Huh. Thank you for the freaking 1,000 biddies. What the heck? I'm going to have to add that to your little support board thingy. <laughs> Thank you. I really wish I had te uh, text to speech. I need to set that up. I just don't know how, and I heard that that's kind of a pain to do. Ugh. 
It looks like I'm just coloring a coloring page when, in fact, this is just my own drawing. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if you noticed, Finch. I ended up making you a VIP for all that you've done already and just the few streams you've been here. Okay, I have scum to you, so. Um, I decided last night, like, yeah, we are becoming VIP. <laughs> Uh, today I cut a car key and the key code was 69666 and I just about lost it. I probably would have lost it too. That's hilarious. It's sort of like, um, at my work when I'm unloading truck. I, I work at Michael's Craft Store. It's not really a secret. I've mentioned it before. But... Um, some of the abbreviations for the boxes that come in are fucking hilarious. I was laughing during Christmas because a tree, they, they, we get Christmas trees, obviously, during the Christmas season. And one of the trees came in and we get flocked trees. On the box, for flocked, I'm going to write it out. I'm going to have to <laughs> re-get that. But it comes in. This is the abbreviation for flocked. <laughs> I was laughing so hard when I saw that the first time because I was like, oh, it's a fucked tree. <laughs> Some of the abbreviations, I feel like they didn't even think it through. Like, why not do like FLCK for flock instead of FCKD? Who... Why? <laughs> I don't know. But I thought it was pretty funny. And so did some of my co-workers. There's another one, and I don't remember what it was. It's somewhere on my Facebook because I posted it. Um, But there was another abbreviation that just made me giggle. I guess it doesn't, I, I usually prefer to uh, raid smaller channels, but I guess it doesn't hurt to raid larger ones every now and again of people I support because it kind of like helps me get out there a little bit more, be noticed by some of my uh, bigger streamers that I follow. And I've been following Bailey since... Since her Z Kitty Z state, or <laughs> Z Kitty Z days, I've been following Bailey J for a long, long, long time. That was back probably before I even made this piece. I was following Bailey. <laughs> I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Mm. A smidgen darker. Oh, I don't have stabilization on. I kind of want that for the brow. Um, what if they did think it through very cleverly about the flocked abbreviation? You know, you never know. They might have. Thank you for the head pats. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I should have recorded. I didn't set up a time lapse for this whole thing. I mean, I guess I had my stream, but. Oh! <laughs> uh, I hate it. 
at that. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Here I was, just minding my own business. And then you get me with a jump scare. <laughs> God, that was awful. Oh. Fair, fair enough. It's gonna take me a minute to relax. <laughs> Oh, is that in regards to Emerald? It's so funny because I used to be in school for Earth Sciences. Like, um, I was in college for Seismology and Geology. <laughs> Finally, someone noticed what I was doing. <laughs> I'm changing some of the colors around on this, and I frankly don't even care. <laughs> Actually, I think, I think I'm gonna make, <gasps> why did that make me jump? Why, why did that make me jump? I mean, that's just the solid colors of my original one. Um, I'm liking her so far. I feel like just for an extra fun bit of color, I'm thinking I'm going to stray away from the original lollipop color. I'm, I'm thinking I might go yellow. And I could add, I could make the, the bow yellow maybe? I would go for an even lighter yellow, frankly. just for some extra like an extra pop of color because I feel like it needs a third color and that's kind of cute I feel like these colors go really well together that's part of why I love experimenting with these um, I could always add like a little okay well not that I could add some sort of little details or maybe I could add some extra stripes in here at some point where there's a little bit of yellow for some extra balance oh I can play around with this a little bit anyway I'm thinking I'm gonna start wrapping up tonight because I'm not going to really be able to do any shading. Um, because by the time I try to attempt shading, it's going to be like 11 and I'm not staying up that late. <laughs> but she's cute. I think, I think I'm going to take the dive and raid Bailey because I really do love Bailey J. She is an artist, uh, mostly known on YouTube, but she started streaming here on Twitch, I don't know how long ago. But she does art, and she's been playing a lot of Fall Guys, and you know I've been playing a lot of Fall Guys too. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to read Bailey. Um, <laughs> that's Donald Duck's colors almost. Oh, it, it is, isn't it? If I changed the pink to red, oh, I could do like, I could do an accent nail and make that yellow for a little bit of balance. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me see what that looks like before I even attempt to raid. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that with a color. Hang on. 
I have to turn on my tablet again. It's fine. Okay, no, I still have that color. Cool. But if I did, like, the little accent nail... I mean, that yellow, it kind of balances it. That's cute. I could even do, like, I mean, I can't do it right now because I did all the color on one layer, which, in retrospect, probably wasn't the best idea if I wanted to add a gradient to her hair. But it's fine. I, I have ways. Um. Yeah, that's cute. So for anybody who might have just now been joining, I redrew this piece of mine from like a decade ago. And I'm going to color her traditionally. I was just playing around with colors digitally because why not? I think she looks pretty cute. <laughs> so before versus now, it's like she's grown up and I like that a lot. But anyway, we're going to raid Bailey J. And... I feel like you guys are gonna really like Bailey. Bailey's a chill streamer as well. Um, well, very similar to me. We're kind of like a between, I feel like. Artist, plays a lot of Fall Guys. She's already doing really well. She's got a lot of viewers at the moment. It's fine. I just love her. I love her art. I love, I love what she does. She's great. I think you guys will like her. She's very similar to me, so we're gonna do that. How do I, let's raid. <laughs> She's currently playing Fall Guys, which is very fitting. So. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Square. Six viewers are ready to raid? I see eight of you in there. Let's see two more. Uh, I looked her up on YouTube, and I have no clue who she is, so I don't really know why it sounds so familiar. Um, <laughs> Bailey J is also a name of a um, adult worker, I've been told. And when I mentioned Bailey J to one of my friends years ago, that's who he thought of, so that might be why. But no, this Bailey J that I am speaking of is an artist and plays games and stuff here on Twitch. So yeah, we're going to go show love to Bailey. So yeah, I will see you all next stream. Thank you for stopping in and hanging out with me today. Um, <laughs> going to switch over to my ending stream sign. So this is the last you'll see of my little PNG tuber until Sunday when we play Pico Park. <laughs> That's unfortunate for brand identity, honestly. 